That's it though, we are gonna get started. It's gonna be the thing upstairs facing off against La LaFaris. Okay. Good so far using the directional arrows, be able to keep Felicia out. Obviously using the wall cling will be able to make her close the distance at a pretty rapid rate. Not doing too much so far here. And he's able to find the shield skills. It's one of the most devastating things about Taskmaster is that he can just kind of circumvent neutral. He says, I'm going to turn my whole body into a hitbox. What are you going to do about it? Wasn't able to go for the Delta kick there to go over the super. Instead, it's going to have to kind of chill things out a little bit. There's the super in response, but just a DHC to get Morgan active. Yeah, for all our homies that didn't get to see yesterday, we do have new overlays. Big shout-outs to Yajin and Max for making this possible. Okay. Trying to find that shell kick here. Trying to stay in the air as best as possible, not fall down into these fireballs and take too much chip. A senior Haman comes through with the 57 raid. Appreciate you, man. Hope the stream has been going well. Make sure you check him out. Definitely, definitely. Big shout out to Senior Haman for holding down those lobbies, giving people plenty of places to practice. That's Admiral Funk in the chat, by the way. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Are we turn an old? How old are you? Old. Okay, Lafar finds the hit again, goes for the snap. He's going to bring Taskmaster back in, but misses an opportunity for a kill. I do believe the thing upstairs is UK, so if we can put the UK flag up or the England flag. Whatever flag you want. Ooh, kitty helper time. Yeah, has to try and be aggressive here. Not get set up for the unblockables, but there's a dash underneath. Oh, looks like he was trying to go for a push block there. He's going to get put into... I thought that was actually an infinite in X-Factor, but instead it's going to go for the launcher there. Maybe it's only in three. Kitty Helper once again. Dude, and actually with the Morgan meter build assist, he's going to pretty much have infinite Kitty Helper for the rest of this game. That's kind of cheap, bro. That's kind of cheap. Oh, maybe it's not cheap enough. Oh, didn't want to pop the level three there. It makes sense, though. Oh, no. He's going to let himself get chipped out here. Okay. Got to be careful. Yeah, I touched the ground level three. He should be able to just go for the chip, but instead... The durability of those Arctur projectiles goes right through the fireballs. Festival Ferris for uh, coming through from Austria, though. Sozo Kuma coming through with a $5 donation. Thank you so much. Appreciate a lot helping contribute to try to bring one of these EU players out. Thank you very much for that. As we're going to get the hit on both. Only going to kill one, but still great value here. I think upstairs. Almost had to fly in time to be able to get the cross up confirmed. Presence of mind from Lafaris, but the presence of mind doesn't matter when shield skills is in the equation. Yeah, Felicia by herself is not looking too good for her. She can get started though. If she can get started, get head Hopper out with this X Factor 3. She hasn't been able to get closer than 75% of the screen until I said that. Delta kick all the way across. Hey, so still up for a better mix here. He's going to go for the kitty helper. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it doesn't matter if we drop here. We got European resets. The frame trap is too strong from Ferris. Opportunity with the Arthur coming in. Kitty helper. Not even going to be necessary to be a part of this here. Tries to set up for the unblockable. Instead, sets up a command throw off of it. That's like a tick command throw, huh? Oh, no, that doesn't work. And a level three in return. Thing upstairs is going to be able to take it from that with level three from Ferris. And he just and he stances up on him. <laughs> he goes into armor and just looks at him. Man, well, Ferris is doing so good with that Felicia. I love to see a good Felicia come back. Yeah, it's especially hard to come back with her, too, because she's a character that's really unstable to get happy birthday. She's not good at comboing two characters. She just sucks, bro. Let's just keep it real. Let's just say, call a spade a spade. I do love her, though. Ooh, 
trying to set up for a reset there. You see those little frame traps with a sharp stick? Bro, that's good stuff from Thing Upstairs. Good interruption. Gets the jump over and avoids the strider. Throw comes through. Might be able to kill off of this one. Yes, for those of you in the chat, Dr. Salt is also a uh, Felicia player from the U.S. Not a lot of Felicia players out there. Okay. Oh, goes for the launcher just a hair too early. All right, Shadow Servant into the Kitty Helper. Forced the X Factor, was going to get lit up for it otherwise. Oh, a slow side switch. Sometimes they switch sides so slow, you just you just get caught looking. Luckily, Kitty Helper does not mess up the combo there. It's always tough to be able to time your confirms here, but let's get it set up. Fireball time. Oh, the shield skills just go right through the fireballs. Not able to convert, but it's okay. Standing H takes care of it. Shout outs to the boy himself, Milky, coming through with the raid. Yeah, he had some offline marvel going on today. He shouts to him. I see you on the grind. Hey, man, Milky could be the Evo winner, you know? He's got to get practice. <laughs> it's so annoying to have to deal with here, but Thing Upstairs still has X Factor, even with the death of Taskmaster. All right, but Arthur definitely able to do it if he survives this. And he's definitely looking to survive here. There's not going to be any way to finish. He's going to need one more. Nothing on the throw reset here. X-Factor pop from Arthur. Goes straight in the armor. And his chip out is looking basically inevitable here. Oh, no. He's going to get hit smacked right out of that, too. And the thing upstairs is going to be able to take it 3-0 to zero over my favorite Felicia player in the Europe area. <laughs> the only Felicia player I've seen. Thank you. Your brother. <laughs> Okay. Cap Firebrand. All right, I like the idea here. Yeah, Meister Jaeger playing out of Germany. Roxy Rabbit. I do believe they're playing out of Ireland. My flag recognition skills are not great. And yet, both of these people are playing Captain America? All right, we see a lot of American representation <laughs> out here. I'm starting to get concerned. There's the connect there from Meister Jaeger. Very nice. It was a kill off the log trap. Oh, the roll underneath just barely has time to be able to find that low. Firebrand should get cooked for this one. He's a pretty low health character. Is there any way anyone from sideways France today? I didn't check the bracket that in depth, but possibly. Oh, yeah, that's the shield throw is one of the most important things against Nova. It's so good for controlling the spaces he wants to occupy. He's not that big of a threat unless he spends meter until he actually closes the distance. Nice close out there from Jaeger. Isn't Jaeger that character from uh, that one show? AOT. Attack on Titan. I like that show. That was a fun show. They're in their second final season right now. I'm <laughs> praying for them. So you're telling me that show's finals reset? <laughs> Basically. Uh, Cuz we're coming through with the subscription. Appreciate you. Mike Jaeger will be able to find the hit another time. The clean open up in the cap neutral. It goes for the snap this time. Ooh, I like that press from Roxy. Gotta be brave in situations like that. Oh, but the left right mix up game. The roll through with the arrows. <laughs> Dude, it didn't look like it was gonna confirm, but he still somehow makes it work. Man, and leaving it down to Firebrand Anchor. So difficult here, especially with the TAC. All that meter built up should be able to go for the finish. Oh, 
There you go, Meister Jaeger taking the second one cleanly. Roxy had a couple opportunities, but she wasn't quite able to find those open up there. Nova honestly looked the best so far, but there's the anti-ground kick. Okay, snap comes through. Yeah, and Mushy Jaeger kind of recognizes the problem too. It's certainly the most practiced character looking like Nova here. Ah, oh, found the jab, but that was a great roll through. You know, we're gonna do something fun today. So we do have a ton of international viewers between Twitch and YouTube. So every time a different country plays, I'm gonna tell you how many views we've had from that country in the past year for on YouTube. Okay. All right. I'm down. In the past year, Ireland has given us 8,944 views. That is a ton of views. Big shout out to Ireland. Can I tell you one fun fact about the country as well? All right. Uh, this is going to be pretty easy for most of the UK. Uh, Ireland, whiskey. <laughs> I, I do like Irish whiskey. That makes some pretty good whiskey. That's it. That's all I have for Ireland. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, me too. Does Germany make whiskey? <laughs> I check out there. Oh, the charging star would have gone crazy there, but unfortunately does not actually go for the buffer. And that roll underneath once again. Jaeger's going to be able to lock that one down. That's going to be three games to zero over Roxy. Let's see another one of the big homies coming up, though. That is P for Denner going yeah. up against Phoenix, man. Looks like just a button check, though. Getting ourselves together, keeping it ready. We can get invaded by these button checks. They pick real teams, real colors, and then button check. Yeah. It's hard not to get baited. We'll see it, though. I actually haven't seen Phoenix Man play, so I'm excited. If this is the team, we have a lot of experience casting this team. Shout out to Fabled Sandwich, actually. So this is a team that we've uh, definitely gotten to uh, with assists and colors, right, Monday? Come on, man. Man, this is a team that we've seen quite a lot here, specifically in Florida. Tampa Bay does have a player that plays this exact team. It's been pretty successful in the years. Face off against T, though. Magneto, Doom, Dante. Obviously a very strong shell that's worked out so well. The <laughs> chest says German fabled sandwich fair. Germany makes some good sandwiches, so that makes sense. Ooh, takes a shot. Actually just cancels out the hyper grab. Nothing else. The teleport he's going to go for two. Nice stuff here from Phoenix, man. And he's able to find the, the hit right afterwards, even though he's not able to get the kill first off. Is still able to close it out, still counts. Oh, oh and is able to find the hit on Dante as well. This is gonna be an X Factor. It should be an easy finish here. No, actually, I think Pixel? No, not even close, never mind. Uh, that uppercut does way more damage than I remember. Good God. <laughs> Crouching medium wins the footsies for Phoenix Man. Drop the combo though and the wake up button here from T. Smart stuff. No hesitation. Too far from hyper grab loose though. <laughs> and we just pressed the launcher. T for dinner. He says, I'm caffeinated. Gets that grounded throw, zips forward for the mix-up, looks for the overhead, a couple of hits in a row. Phoenix Man gets the better of it. Dude, after that grapple forward into the throw, is able to find something, which is, is rare, especially on a punishable situation like that. All right, back to your YouTube view statistics. In the past year, we've had 227,000 views just from the, just from the UK. That's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. 
We did say Germany had 77,000 views last year. Oh my goodness. I got a good view of that overhead though. Oh my God, and that grapple as well. And gets the back hitbox on the jab. I like that. Uh, one of Miles, unfortunately, YouTube does not separate England from the United Kingdom. At least not that I can see. Kind of racist if you ask me, I don't know. Wow, the cross up level three. Incredible stuff from Phoenix Man. Gets kind of a ridiculous whiff punish there. Oh, look for the command throw, just finds the low afterwards. Both of them kind of deer in the headlights here, but T for dinner ends up getting the better of the situation. The opportunity! Oh my god, T for dinner's movement to bait out the whiff! Oh, dude, missed the link on the overhead still. Is able to kill with the bionic arm. Got air throw to follow up. Oh, but listen, man, it doesn't matter what side of the ocean you're on, it doesn't matter what continent or what country. Foot dive is a language we all speak and we all understand. Translates well here to Tampa, Florida. Ah, found the forward though, couldn't get the confirm, missed out on that second dash. And then the super jump after the grapple, a couple missed opportunities, but again, Bonnock Arm has been how we've been finding these hits. Absolutely, just like that, is able to finish it again with the arm. <laughs> the overhead find it to mark once again. Oh, I missed the TKS as well. That's a tough one. Yo, shout out to Avengers coming through for the sub 24 months, two years. And Devil Must Die, very nice. Make him watch the cinematic, said I'm back in there. Heck yeah, Tifa Dunner getting himself on the board here against Phoenix Man. The spicy tea, not like this. Dude, honestly, Wesker has been the problem here. Spencer was able to win that last game, but it's been consistently the man in the trench coat. I would love to see whatever it takes to get the kill here. I feel like usually Wesker players best. If you have Wesker on the team, it's usually your best character. I just, it feels like. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like Wesker is so explosive, so underrated, right? But he just needs that horizontal assist like Phoenix Man has on his team. I think this is actually one of the best Wesker teams you can play. Oh, the grapple doesn't quite get the full confirm. Oh, accidental push block there. You know he wanted the dash and get punished. Uh, Magneto able to land safely after that mag blast. Zero frames of recovery upon landing. T plays Tron? That's what I want to see from her. Big fan. Oh. <laughs> I hate to see an overhead not get, uh, not get a conversion. Just step on him. Step on him. DHC into Magneto, it was a kill. That little meaty for incoming, no reason to take risks here when you've got such a lead. You've got three characters, X Factor, plenty of resources to play with. Oh, finds the air throw off of that too. That was a tough situation that ended up coming up for T. Should be an easy finish here, barring no drops. Ah, T for dinner, back in it, game five. Yeah, yeah, for sure, clawing the way back. Try to look for the try jump there, didn't quite work out. Almost goes for two. 
Evac says uh, jam session is illegal in some states. I wish it was illegal in this one, to be perfectly honest. That, that lag is illegal. <laughs> Alright, the winner catches up here. Phoenix Man is able to take the kill in that forbidden mid screen mix up. Yeah, don't worry about that, guys. By the way, that only affects us, not the players. We get a uh, we get a virtual fee of the game, so the one piece time skip. It's alright. Yeah, yeah, that only affects us. The players are playing directly on Parsec, so it should not affect them whatsoever, unless they have Parsec issues. Just our servers having issues. Getting light. A is able to find a full confirm off of this one. Hammer does not connect, but still is able to get the reset. She's in a good spot here. Be able to kill Spencer with no X Factor, which is so crucial here. Okay, we always talk about that. It's so important in these comeback scenarios. Oh, it's gonna X Factor for a better mix up. Oh man, follow it up again. That level three, Devil Must Die, Doctor Doom. Pass the finish here, teleport comes through. Oh, and the frame trap. It's not gonna be enough to kill, but this is still really good damage. Oh, but Dash is underneath to try and go for the anti-air, sets themselves up for a cross up and is gonna get put in the blender. Is it enough? It is just enough there. Phoenix man, clutch it up in the end and is able to take the set. Here we go. Zero with Iron Fist. You telling me you got the best character in the game and the worst character in the game and put them on the same team? Only in Sideways France do you get something like that. Takari coming through with that action. Going up against Plasma Ghost, though. We've seen Plasma Ghost do some work last week, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. I like Iron Fist second, too. This is an interesting take on it. Good DHC, uh, as well as being able to pair with the Strider assist. But if Zero is able to find his way, he might not get to see any Iron Fist here. Yeah, yeah. But I, you're definitely right about the Iron Fist Strider combo. That's super underrated. Very, very effective team in 2012. As far as Iron Fist, so, so, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know. oh, is able to interrupt the hammer there. Goes for the frame trap, not able to connect. Okay, it's gonna go a million dollars just for the damage on Iron Fist here. I, I respect it. Okay, takes that bust to the chin. Not gonna do too much extra though. Just taking some chip from the Sogen move. Just to keep the trend going, the Netherlands has uh, watched uh, TNS channel 33,000 views in the past year, by the way. 33,000 views from the Netherlands. I'm sorry, we're gonna call it Sideways France for now. If Takari wins, I will no longer call it Sideways France. I will only call it the Netherlands. If, if Plasma Ghost wins, though, it is forever sideways friends. You're fighting for, uh, for <laughs> you're fighting for the respect of your country right now. Oh my God, the pride of your countrymen. Tatsu oh, not able to find it. There's a Ooh. cross up. Takari said, "Listen, we'll defend our honor." <laughs> it's called the Netherlands, damn it! <laughs> oh my God. Okay, zoop zoop. Whatever you can to take this kill, very nice. Well, Takari putting Plasma go sideways right now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, finding these extensions, definitely like that. Using the Strider as well, that's a lot of extra damage on that. And I'm normally a zero hater, just like 90% of y'all that watch, but damn, watching with Iron Fist assist is kind of cool. Oh, a little scared there. I thought the assist was coming out. I think they hesitated for that. Can't hesitate, can't hesitate in Marvel 3. Oh, just light him up. Uh, waited too long there. Obviously, Takari definitely being aware of that. Block off of these again, taking that chip though here. And Takari still having the X Factor as well makes this so difficult. 
Here we go. Finally getting a little action here. One more super. What to do it? No. Ended up trying to take the safe route. The beam actually would have chipped out in that situation, I believe. Ooh, that's a great timing on the tag. Ooh, the di okay, little Street Fighter cross-ups and Akuma beat you at your own game, too. Iron Fist would actually be a good Street Fighter character. He's not a good Marvel character, but he'd be a good Street Fighter one. So he got Rekka's, he can build more meter. He got that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Fei Long with Tiger Knee, you know? That's it. Oh, my God. We Forget about Sideways France. We're going to call this Sideways UK for the rest of the year now. The car is doing it to him. Luckily, Sideways UK flag looks just like the regular UK flag, so... You turn that thing sideways, I wouldn't notice. Yeah, it's like the side. It's like the sideways Japanese flag. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like you would know. You would not um, know. <laughs> okay, use those fireballs. Just cancel out the airplay here. Getting some chip down, but again, way far behind in this one. There's got to be a country flag where it's just a solid color, right? Like they didn't have no graphic designers back then, and just. <laughs> The king was like, you know, I like orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice cross up. Missed the opportunity, though. X Factor trades. And Sakari gets the better of it. Oh, and Takari able to do it for the Netherlands. Taking this 3 0 last week, I believe. And uh, it was pretty exciting. Yes, we're getting that Hagar back. This Nova color goes, we're not going to get to see much of this Nova color now off the hip, but this Nova color goes crazy. Chris, follow up. Combination punch into the super. Going through the Hagar should be just enough. Somebody convinced Living Legend to switch his team to Ben Kilski. It's too good. Yo, Robbie Duran with a $10 donation towards our uh, Evo goals here. Thank you so much, Robbie Duran. Appreciate the support. Oh, Tatsu was so close to going for two. That's great from Reach to recognize he had some space. Yeah, that butter gun coming from top to bottom, really putting the hurt on Akuma assist. I'm surprised Dooms don't get get more of that. You know, I see Dooms get blown up all the time by Akuma. They should just butter gun. Duh. It's just scary against Lariat. Yeah, and I'm biased for Lariat. Hell yeah, I'm biased for Lariat. I'm by for Lariat. What you mean? <laughs> I love me some Lariat, bro. Oh, dude, that reset from Reach was so clean. Let's go do with both the supers here, but getting Virgil on point, I think, is a better situation here. You can kill Hagar in one hit and then exit with Akuma. All right, fun fact, we, we wanted to, they wanted us to do fun facts without Googling it for each country. So, uh, UK is not a country, but, you know, close enough. We're going to go with uh, fish and chips. Chips are not actually chips in, uh, in the UK. They're just French fries. Yeah, what we would call a chip is a crisp. A crisp, yeah. Changing the wording on us. It's, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like bison and the balrog in Street Fighter. They're just changing it on us. Tom, just between me and you, I think that between the things that me and you just said, we just used half of them. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's too many fun facts in one. They have a really big clock. <laughs> Dude, I got like one more left. Please stop. <laughs> also, the bridge is falling down. I, I don't know if that's an insensitive topic. I do apologize if I offended anyone. Oh, that's underneath. Tries to go for the launcher. I don't actually know the history behind that, but I just remember. <laughs> don't talk about the big clock, TOS. <laughs> Oh my god. I right, reach. I said reach out and touch somebody. That's one game. You can't talk about Big Ben too fast on, on the internet because you'll uh, you'll definitely miss an L and take an L instead. Alright, got the fall. That was very fortunate to not have Hagar fall into that combo as well. Chris Redfield taken down. Whoa, what a follow-up here off the throw. Hot Ice said Big Ben won two Super Bowls. 
How does a clock win Super Bowls? I don't know. That's the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, he got behind him and landed back in front of him. You got to see how broken box dash medium is with Dr. Doom in the corner, by the way. That was evidence right there. Oh, Buttergun finally betrays. One up, Miles says Great Britain is undefeated in the Super Bowl, by the way. Another nice fact. Good. Takes the kill. T for dinner. I would love to see the Tron, but I want you to win more than I want to see the Tron. I'm kind of undecided. <laughs> I, I'm a little biased because Tron is one of my favorite Capcom characters, but I want you to see you perform your best. Okay, we're going to go with the Sentinel here. People were talking about it, and now it's time to see it. Kills Mr. E, please do not pick Point Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix, right? Yeah, I can see that. You know, us holding this Marvel tournament for the European region is probably going to be what causes World War III. <laughs> I listen. <laughs> nice reset there for Reach. As a Korean-born person representing America and talking all kinds of craziness about Europe, yeah, this is gonna it's gonna be our fault. Don't worry. Call in my Greek favors. <laughs> <laughs> Try to go for the S, not gonna work. Ooh, but Crouch Medium will. Okay, DC does connect, not enough to kill though. Demon flip. Nice block. Oh, a great way to capitalize some damage there, but missed one of the dashes. X Factor went to waste. Okay. All this for one missed blink dash. I love this game. This is the kind. This is the kind of stuff that gets me excited. Ooh, nice throw. It's a very long road ahead, though. One hit will kill Nova, but Nova didn't get hit. That only hit because it's Sentinel. Normally, in X Factor, that actually completely whips. It's so fortunate that it's the big body. I have a raccoon, too. Log Trap. Probably a pretty decent assist for this, I have to imagine. I don't know that I've seen them together before. Oh, I was going to say, I'm excited to see what Scroll is going to do out here, but I see exactly what Scroll is doing out here. Uh, couldn't avoid the jam session. Doesn't matter, though. Pipe on the way down again. Ooh, and it's Spitfire assist, too, so it's going to use that multi-projectile to try and help close the gap in these situations. I would say Hagar. Hagar needs a nice little help on the OTG side, and that's definitely it. I love this team already. Oh no, an X Factor that does combo. Tough one. I think we'll find the crouch in medium. Finally, you're probably going to look for the DHC or a swap to Dante at some point here. Dante with drones, better situation. This is actually a double super setup. Heck yeah, we're looking real optimal here on the glass side. Oh, very nice. Mine's hit again. This is pretty ridiculous Sentinel play here. Is Glass the best Sentinel in the UK? Is that what it is? <laughs> Dante comes out, just gets boinged up. <laughs> Sentinel calls him and says, hey, don't be mad. <laughs> oh, he armors it. Crazy interactions going on right now between these two. <laughs> he caught him. Oh, it's trying to go for the hard drive there. Command throw comes out, not going to connect. Wow, we have a plan, and it is down heavy. I like this plan, bro. Rolling hook. Oh, oh nice no. The Homebreaker ends up winning out. Wow, that was terrifying. You see the frames of him turning his back, and you know what's coming. 
What uh what country is that flag though? Is that IKEA? Shouts to Kidman. Yo, <laughs> coming Kidman through with the coming so. through. Oh, Sweden, Sweden. That makes uh, sense. Oh, uh, but yes. <laughs> to answer your question. I can't got them Swedish meatballs, so I, I guess that comment. Oh, yeah, they always have those Swedish language signs, too, everywhere. Jason, yes, they do. <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Follow up with the super. Gonna get the DHC to take the kill. No, it's gonna DHC late. Oh my god, and Larry clears them all out. This was the absolute problem last time, though. Sentinel was able to do so much work. Oh, jump medium to stop the drop kick approach. Dude, especially with jam session. Sentinel did so well to shut down Hagar. Never had a shot. He's get out. He's able to get into Dante here. Could deal all the damage from outside the range of the trap. I like this. Well, continuing on our facts that we were doing about viewership in different countries, Sweden in the past year has watched uh, TNS on YouTube 25,000 times. Big shout out to Sweden, all our Swedish viewers. That's the beat with Crouching Light, gets the interrupt. Oh no, that's not what he wanted to do there. Oh, he almost had a throw from that range. Full shower loops and just drops them. No, not against scroll. Oh, almost had the relaunch there. He could have just gone straight into super though. He's gonna build the block just in time. Excellent. Try to punish a little too early. That last hit of the super. Oh, he got both. He got neither. Oh, maybe could have got standing light there, but it doesn't matter. We're able to find the hit again. Not even gonna need the X Factor. So far, it hasn't been an issue of Genzor not playing enough or playing well enough, because they are playing amazing. Glass is just playing a little bit better. That's all it is. Fun fact about Sweden, though, uh, the very first DreamHack was in Sweden. That's where DreamHack started. That's, uh, for those of you that don't know, that's actually my full-time job, is I work, for, uh, I work for DreamHack. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the health insurance, DreamHack. <laughs> Filesana coming through. 21 months. Huge shout out. Thank you Yo, very much. Filesana? See, not. Wow. Depends on playing real good. Just, just need to be able to finish it out. Oh, nothing's going to stop you there. Yo, Shattercoin coming through. Big shout out to Shattercoin coming through with another gifted sub. 325 in this channel already. You are ridiculous. A little bit of extra damage the beam there. Gets the jumping medium. Can't confirm him, but still. Good decision making in neutral here from Glass. Continuing to zone out the Hagar. Might need a raw attack soon. Just barely doesn't get punished. That's a normal sized character. Maybe is going to get the kill twice in a row. He, unfortunately, Tampa does not know Sweden. I only knew that fact because I worked there. <laughs> the only other thing I know about Sweden is they have really good meatballs. Oh, did that cross up in the land same side? That's Sentinel's fault. Yeah, yeah, Sentinel got that big head. He's sideways tall. Oh, but we are pressing on the way down. Commander Redfield. God, and only one charge required. Oh, Glass able to take this 3-0, but big shots to Genzor for playing as well as he did, entertaining to say the least. And then that qualifies you for the fourth week where the top eight point getters will play it out. 
Oh, pretty decent RNG there. Gets two of the items on three searches. Off, trying to get Maya set back up. Gets the interrupt and looks for the TAC, but it's not quite going to work. As Meaty Stevie, a $5 donation. Thank you. Yeah, we love a good Meaty around here, and Stevie's one of the good ones for sure. Thank you so much for the donation. Oh, that's a great adjustment. Unfortunately, small body Joe not going to be able to get the full confirm on him. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful Joe. Blowing up that Captain America Super. <gasps> Missed input though, doesn't get into turnabout. Oh no, a couple missed opportunities here for Light Throw, but there we go, is able to find it. Yo, Noxa coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. Went 0 and 2 and got bodied. Heck yeah. 25% of the bracket goes 0 and 2, and another 25% goes 1 and 2. So that's half the bracket right there. So don't ever feel bad. As long as you had a good time. Ghost almost lost half his team there. That was very lucky to see half his, uh, one of his characters fall out of that. Oh, we got the big red boomerangs now. It doesn't matter though. Captain America somehow made it to the other side. Lethera though said, my super's better. Beat out that level three? Red boomerang and just chill. Okay. Aye, but the cross up there. KC maybe, just to make sure. Oh no, he tried to wait to be able to go for the super, but still is able to answer. He yeah. wanted to build a third bar so bad. Get hammered out of the rocket skates. That was too funny. Okay. Good extension off the air throw. And gets a TAC as well. Gonna try and set up for the infinite here. Oh, dropped his combo. Damn session comes out, tries to break it up a little bit. Doesn't actually find anything for it though. Okay. Oh, finds a very late air to air. What a confirm from Ghost. Super Super Joe just gonna live it, but the trap OTG almost makes enough. Red Hawk Kick completely escapes the corner here. Goes into the super to get all that extra damage on Cap. Manages to find both. Ghost tries to mash at some point, it looks like. It does not work out. He's going to lose all of his characters for this. It's going to be down to Doctor Doom. Uh, now you're in the, the infinite. Red boomerangs everywhere. Has to find something, and there's the hit. All of a sudden, Ghost. Oh. Nice blocks, but can't block forever. He's going to go straight into a million dollars. This is not going to kill. Needs one more hit. Ah, uh, goes back same side. Medium doesn't connect, but we find the Helmbreaker. Light Throw just finds a way. Very nice way to be able to find the kill there. That was a terrifying situation that ends up turning up his way. Two games here. Might be able to close out the set on one more. Aye, but that is not the best way to start it. on the searches here. Jam session to try and buy some room. Oh, and gets both off of Log Trap. Just drops out. And he beats him clean. How's Phoenix right scratching his head beat Captain America Charging Star? Boomerang zoning game has a lot of potential. 
Off the air to air, but Log Trap beats a clean. Off speed hits the assist. Straight to million dollars. A lot of damage there on Rocket. Had him with the forward heavy foot dive and is able to get the throw punish here. Nice stuff from Ghost, the, the consistency in the play. Oh, almost got the kill on Rocket Raccoon there. That would have been so crucial. All right, though, he's still in a very strong position here against Dr. Doom. He's got red help on Rocket. Just can't call him now. Uh, great use of the meter here from Ghost, though, to keep this matchup somewhat in his favor. This is definitely a tough matchup for Doom without meter, so Ghost actually able to come out on top of that zoning battle. Oh, and then checks the legs here. All going to come down to just the lawyer. Oh, we got T-Bags? We down 2-0 and got T-Bags? I like it. I respect it. Oh. Wow, Maya breaks up the combo in the best way. Okay. <laughs> Ghost? <laughs> he really wants this. Set it for again. He does hit the assist, actually. Oh, and he's going to be able to kill Rocket Raccoon here. Just Captain America left. Ghost has X Factor. But he's also running out of time here. He's got a charging star. Oh my goodness, he expected, still got hit. Uh, oh, Lethero with the return tee bag. That's what we're talking about. I, you know, I don't know if I respect it, but I'm going to enjoy it either way. Oh, and a disruptor getting the first hit for Spartan Throne. Able to go combo for full. Look at the damage, even after Disruptor scaling here. That did a clean 650 before the, before the first meter. And is able to get the full extension there after it. The Iron Fist War has been won. It's not quite over yet. Even with Zero going down, we still got ninjas. We had. Oh, so tough for Strider to have to deal with here. He's going to get cooked immediately. And now two bars left over to be able to deal with zero. Spartan throwing about to turn the level ones back into sideways France here. Oh, my God. A lot of stuff going on there. Zero in the end can't quite hold on to it. Then you got to be very careful. He does have a good reversal super. Oh, if he went up there and converted that, I would have thrown up all my tea and biscuits. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and Takari says, I'm done with the Iron Fist point, bro. Zero only. Oh, did you see him just zoom through that? Look like the flash out here. Call me Bowie coming through with the sub. 35 months. Didn't even know that was legal. Big shouts to my little bro, Bowie. Okay, off the wall. Trying to close that This is not going to work out here. Sparty might have to look for the raw tag here soon. Oh, what a trade here. He says, see, I still got Iron Fist on the team account. Yeah, yeah. Spartan Throne getting a little taste of his own medicine there with the Iron Fist assist hitting him. All right, Duke Duke. Finish him up. Oh, that was...
was a throw attempt there, but it just gets a clean hit regardless. We love happy little accidents. Okay, I mean, let's see if Sparty sticks it out with the Iron Fist or if he's going to go for the swap here. Yeah, he said morality be damned. Back to it. He's better in this situation. Yeah, you know, Iron Fist is definitely better in the second or third position. Put him in the. I personally like to play him in the fourth position. Just keep him on the bench. So, more of a <laughs> He's definitely a fourth <laughs> position character. <laughs> Go through with the lightning. Take the kill on Magneto. Early lead for Takari. Y'all talking about top three in the EU. Takari trying to make a statement right now. I don't know. I'll say Mr. Mr. E is uh, is top three possibly. Is Spencer maybe? Is Spencer by itself is an entity. That is the coach Monday of the UK. Okay, lost the player for the crackdown. He's just gonna use that as an opportunity for a little more charge. Tries to go for the mix, but Takari's defense is really holding up. Again, and the raw tags. Party's able to get out of there. Okay. How do you close the distance here? Oh, that's a good way to start. Oh, what a great mix up here after the blocks done from Stalking Flare. And then the same side, Iron Fist not looking like he's gonna get to play too much here. Oh, we're going for the mid screen. Missed the, uh, oh, missed the attack there, but doesn't matter. Still works out for Spartanstone's favor. Yeah, that trade is more than good enough. Wow, and he's able to bring it back there after uh, honestly kind of getting sauced in the point matchup there. Takari had complete control until Dormammu came in. That just com that shifted everything. Two to one though. Back to Iron Fist point. And maybe he forgot to hold the button. Hey, it's all right. It is technically legal in this tournament. That's why we allow that. We allow the uh, switching of the order because what if you uh, what if you forget? Oh, drops his combo. Huge drop. It's going to get answered immediately. Yeah, it doesn't look like the car is too upset about Spartan Throne changing his order now. <laughs> wow, had time to throw there? And tries to set up for Mix even though he has X Factor. That could be a game losing decision there. Spartan Throne definitely capable. Normally is a uh, Wolverine Point player, but more than capable with his Magneto. He can play it all. Oh man, he's the, the ghost of Milky. <laughs> he's going for it. Oh, TAC with all that meter still has X. Okay, that worked out. That worked out. I've never seen that. I've never seen that DAC combo before. <laughs> I was not ready. Oh my god! Especially because Legion. Oh, was trying to go for Shockwave. Would have killed Strider on that. Great defense of the assist from Takari. Okay, what you talking about? You're always getting shouted out. You're the best 25 and under Magneto out there. Okay. Oh, this is 
this is looking uh, looking a lot better for Sparty. He still didn't get the kill on zero. The raw attack comes out. This is huge. Flame carpet. This feels like an insurmountable wall there for Iron Fist. He immediately gets closed out. Yeah, great try dash there from Spartan Throne. Not able to get the extensions, though. Okay, probably get the team back into the order he's looking for. Dark Hole should be a punish. Can't quite. He's able to block there on the fall, on the free fall. Oh, that falling H and the Iron Fist assist, though. Definitely great situation here for Takari. If he can get rid of Dormammu here, we might see Spartan Throne and the losers early. Definitely looking like it could happen here. I think pretty much uh, this is like blocked for the game here. Oh, and Takari of all the times, missed times the mix up. Uh, so again, move nothing. A lot of respect. Yeah, Takari trying to take his time in the neutral position here, knowing he's got a huge lead. Oh, great defense from Takari there. A lot of players would have got baited for a button. Not Takari, though. Quick block again. Oh, but the Rising Fang. Oh, no. Just stood there with the crouching light. Gets a snap as well. Finds the air throw. That is crucial here after getting the team into a better order to kill. Spartan Throne is able to get rid of Takari Strider here. It could be all over. Just Iron Fist left, and he's not going to be able to do it. Spartan Throne's Iron Fist comes and saves the day, edges that one out. Yeah, I mean, he'll dash underneath, save the day for sure. Three to two. Right, see how Hulk is able to close it. I was going to say it's going to be uh, potentially hard for Hulk to close the distance on Chris, but Chris is taking a fight to him. Yeah, honestly, I think Chris without a uh, a get off me assist is going to be kind of uh, kind of tough. Playing against Hulk here with drones. Or you could just ra raw launch, I guess. That makes sense. Oh, Larry almost gets pushed into the flame grenade there. Chip continues to add up. Need finds the hit, gonna take the kill on Hulk. And this is such a point heavy team, it gets way harder when you lose a piece of it. Spartan Throne, you are the main character, bruh. You are the main character. We're just all here to support. Oi! Oh. Tried to swing, crouching medium. best you can here. It's hard because you can't even really take the grounded projectile approach here because he'll just go prone and shoot you underneath your drone. Also doing a great job of mitigating the risk against Hagar. Lariat has not been a factor here. That's going to be a punish for sure. Text forward. No, he spins again. He still has time. I don't know what we're doing here, but it's all right. Neither player wants to get close, and that is why the crouch medium. Yeah, he's going to be able to take a kill here with the DHC. Love this with a million dollars. Ashton Schaefer just down to the Mango Sentinel, but X Factor 3 on deck. Definitely going to be able to do it. He's got to land a hit on Dante. Dante trying to stay full screen. Oh, got a little too close there. Wanted to come down with the falling medium. Sentinel plays really well at half screen, but uh, Glass saw that he was trying to play the half screen game, and he's like, nah, nah, close quarters combat only. Yeah, and really limited options there for uh, Captain Joe also. If you go for really anything, Dante can respond with level three and X to keep it safe, even if it doesn't connect. Nice tag. 
push block too to buy yourself some room. Tech comes through again. Blast continuing to do an amazing job in these defensive situations. Fortunately, body blocks him out of the Molotov though, so he's not able to get the damage that he was looking to get to be able to grab off of that. Oh, and that super just misses Chris there. Still gets a little damage on Sentinel, but not enough. Hulk running out of health here. He's got to make something happen, or he's got to tag out. But all his teammates are bleeding too, but that Gamma Charge pays off big. All right, I mean, Sentinel has hard drive, X-Factor, plenty of meter, a lot of ways to get out of this. Let's see what he chooses to do. The Super Jump H does get hit by the Sentinel hard drive. Is he blocking this one? Yes, sir. And he's gonna be able to punish that. No, he misses the punish on it. DHC from Glass, excellent choice. Okay. Ooh, crouch medium there was very sneaky. Nice block. Now, fun fact about England though, their uh, official language is English. They stole America's language. That's it. Even out here. Last in strong position here, playing the zoning game well. Oh, he knew he was in range of the pipe. Aye, but he sticks out the eight frame. Not going to work out. Yeah, that punch super being invincible here. Oh, no, he misses the... He misses the flight combo. He could have just gone down with it. It's all right. Gets the snap. Blast definitely making better use of those jump mediums here. It's all right, though. He got a little too close. Ashley Schaefer able to get the throw and the hard drive. He's going to be able to go for full combo. Oh, yes, he is. There's the kill. Maybe DHC just get Hagar in. Oh, just tag. Has plenty of time. Oh my god, he just runs up and drop kicks his legs? Hold on, Ben Kill, you trying to tell me English is from England? What is this nonsense? You're telling me the Americans didn't come up with this. The line. Oh, meaty drive after that follow up on the back throw. Gets the snap. No more meter though. Might not have enough time here. Yeah, Ashley Schaefer gonna be able to time him out. I love when a big body team times somebody out. That stuff is great. Go back in though, finds the air throw, and the air throw is a great way to confirm, but couldn't quite go all the way. Yeah, missed the conversion there with the gamma charge. Tranquilist coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. 19 months with us. Oh, try to push a button there while still in the flames. Saw that crouch heavy foot come out from Hulk. Getting stuffed though by Chris. He'll throw the grenade for that extra OTG. Only the first hit of that super actually OTGs from Chris. Ooh, and he finds an air throw. Yeah, Sentinel try to double jump to get out of that situation, but Glass was ready for it. He just built so much meter with that flamethrower. <laughs> he just goes for the field goal kick. Usually a pretty effective thing against Hagar. Armor's pretty good in this match. Yeah, I definitely believe Sentinel kind of bodies Hagar in the 1v1 just because of the longer, uh, longer limbs. And Hagar doesn't really have any armored moves, just the invincible lariat. Okay. Ashley Schaefer forced to be, <laughs> forced the X Factor. Yes, I forced to BMW. <laughs> I mean, if it's in your name, I feel like you gotta drive one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the instant jump overhead from Chris. Glass knows what he's doing. Got 
jump way early on that one. Yep, combination punch into the follow-up. DHC will certainly kill. A better spot here. Next character has hard drive. Tenno very good at instant overheading himself. <laughs> oh, drop the conversion there. Hagar able to tag in for free. Yeah, Hagar definitely has to be careful falling into Sentinel before just landing in front of him. Oh, the TK with the assist just for a little bit extra damage. A little spice there. Too spicy though, dropped it. I love the command, the, <laughs> the Hagar command movement. The roll at him. That's the command <laughs> teleport, bro. Down H, roll forward. Oh, at super jump height, able to throw him, but there's no conversion Sentinel could do from there. Ashley Schaefer taking his time, and Glass taking advantage, getting the command throw. For bold of you to assume that I'm scared of you. Air throw this time, not going to work out here. Hard drive is blocked, no punish, though. Yeah, he definitely could have jumped up with him if he wanted to to try to get the punish. Oh, lands the super on Dante. Doesn't matter, though. Oh, the whiff super allows Glass to get behind him with the hard drive and close out this match 3-1. to one. Very smart to wait there, too. Oh, man. Right, here we go, though. Uh, once again, with the two archers on the screen, we had two iron fists earlier. That's why I, lo I love, man. I love this shit. I feel like Taskmaster does fairly well against Torda. I am somewhat familiar with this matchup as a Taskmaster player sometimes. Part-time. Yeah, yeah. Part-time Taskmaster player. Oh, my God. This is a full-time ass weapon. <laughs> Bobble Ghosts. Ooh, trying to go for some tricky stuff with the flight. It does not work at all, though. Thing upstairs takes control. Dormammu can definitely keep up with Thor, or maybe not. Not against this Thor, though. Oh, no continuation of the combo there. Drops it out. Luminous body. Wakes up with the launcher there, Arthur. <laughs> Knight never tires, bro. The cannon matchup. Uh, Doppel, though, able to unfly just in time. Doesn't matter, though. He swoops right in to get bodied by Arthur. X Factor 3 damage from Arthur. Definitely more than enough to kill any character with his combos. That's just like a hot in the game. Yeah. Plenty of time here. No, the level 3. Great way to put some pressure on in this kind of situation. And the Thor assist. Oh, and that little tiny car there with the forward heavy to make sure he has the distance. It's little optimizations like that. Back to that matchup we were talking about before here. A little tough sometimes for Thor. God, looking a little tough for the assists here. Arthur already on just barely any life and finds the hit on task. I wouldn't be surprised to see a snap. Oh, able to get the whiff punish after a drop combo there. A little Arthur extension on the DHC. That's what we like to see. Look at bruh, this combo is never ending. Found the hit though. Oh, thought he had already made it to the ground there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see with the screen glitch there. Oh my God. What a mix up there with the dashes underneath. Oh. 
Oh my god, dude. The optimizations are just too sick here. Super comes out, but the armor's gonna pop. There's a chance here for the thing, but misses the OTG. So difficult. Uh, thing upstairs missed a couple of opportunities to throw Thor. Allows Thor to escape the corner, and close it out. Why not level three? I think that uh, if Pillar would have missed, I think level three also would have missed from that distance. Are you talking about Dormammu? Yeah. Does Dormammu's level three have a limit? I don't think it has a horizontal limit, does it? It has travel time though. Oh. It comes out. And we've seen this optimization so many times here. Doppel goes, it just never gets old, dude. Look how sick this confirm is. Oh, great punish there against the launcher. The funny thing about Dormammu's launcher is you can punish it if you block it from the inside half, but if you block the outside half, it pushes you a little too far out for most characters. But what has this mix-up sequence been from Topple Ghost? Wow. Maybe I'm a Firebrand player. Yeah, yeah. Firebrand and Luminous Body piloted by Doppel Ghost. That's, that's like a Firebrand on fucking Adderall, bro. Like, that's, that shit is moving crazy. Ooh, had an opportunity for the Command Throw there. Didn't want to go for it because the X-Factor was available. But uh, a lot of damage from these. X Man, Chris, if you're if you're in Europe and you want to play in the next bracket next Saturday, uh, definitely get with one of our TOs in the chat here, Lena or Duelist or uh, somebody in here, Jason, definitely help them out. Also, uh, for all the European players, there is a server, a Discord server for all European Marvel players. Yo, Doppel goes talking that trash as soon as he closes it out. All right, let's get it started though. Reach back at it again. One up, Miles. Our first time getting to see him here. Great job, though. Obviously, placed really well last time. Okay. Back so, again, Moon. Oh, dude. TK Medium Lightning Ash completely beats out the overhead attempt there from Reach. And I think that overhead attempt might have been an execution error. You know, this match might be the first normal looking match I've ever seen as far as characters are involved. Very true, actually. Super Super. Gets himself back involved and is able to find the mix up here after the X Factor. Tagging into Doom there. Doesn't actually get anything off of the mix-up, though. One up Miles in a really commanding position on even resources, but still has X-Factor. With this hit, though, is going to decide a lot. Snap comes through. It oh. gets the throw! Throws him right out of the super there. Reach with the confidence. Oh no, but he went for the pelvic woo. The dash does not work, but no teleport after the hit. Okay. All right, Reach bringing out his own Virgil here with the swords. Great DHC choice. And able to just teleport behind him, get the big swing. Throws him out of Helmbreaker as well. Reach knows exactly what's going on here at all times. Oh, until that drop combo. Oh, fixed it there with the stinger, knowing it wasn't going to take his wall bounce because the swords were active. It doesn't matter. Jump S. Wow, speaking of jump S. Yeah, big foot dive from one up Miles here. Game changing foot dive. 
Oh, and then finds it on the same side, mix up afterwards as well. It's gonna build up the level three for an easy finish. That'll do it there. What a Miles locking down the first game. For those of you that don't know, the server is based in London, so both of these players have some pretty good connections, so shouldn't be lagging too bad. Okay. Box dash throw there. Reach looking to take an early advantage. Standard Nova stuff to extend. Goes for the Javelin reset here. Gotta make sure you kill zero, and Crouch Medium will be enough to do it. Yeah, great chase down with Crouch Medium. Travels such a long distance. Oh no, was a little too close there, unfortunately. Say it's easy to dodge javelin if you have your if you're raising your height, but if you're already at that max height, a lot of times it will still hit you. Really surprised to see that happy birthday not pan out there. I was nervous as soon as I saw him go for Lunar Phase there because I thought he might actually fall into the uh, into the shield. Okay, two good blocks in a row though. Oh, and is able to find the hit there off the rapid slash jab and a hard kick. This fixes everything. That's level three, is gonna spend it. Fortunately, this order leaves it up to Virgil on the anchor and he has plenty of resources. Oh, uh, one of Miles brought his own Virgil out just to get stopped here for the X Factor. Reaching strong position here. Just got so he just has to avoid getting foot died. Oh, easier said than done. Uh, putting the crown on him. This might be just what he needed. Yep. <laughs> so scary, that situation coming up. Got to do everything you can to avoid it. Beat tackle. Gets the cross up, actually. Good find the damage off of that. Full set up as well, but doesn't really turn into anything off of that. Ooh, was trying to look for the forward heavy. Not going to find it. But I like the ambition. Ooh, but gets the throw on him after the snap. I feel like this is why we got to see those kills come out. Now we find ourselves in an infinite position here. Has already built up the three bars to be able to make this an easy kill. How far do you want to press your luck? Presses it too far. And Zero is going to live it. So the point characters trade out down to the Doom Virgils here. I almost gets to confirm. A little too far. Not going to work out in the end. Wow, what a way to be able to keep that extended. Very nice stuff here, but it drops it again. And with the X Factor active too, but still is able to find the Helmbreaker to follow. Okay. Are you going to be able to get the kill off of this here? Might have to look for the TAC. No, it's just going to look for the knockdown instead. x Vector still available, and he calls the assist. You have to know. Oh, a heartbreaker. you got to know he has the x Factor, and he's not going to be afraid to pop it. Oh, man. Go 
Javelin reset again here on Zero. Does find it and Rapid Slash normalizes the combo, but he goes for some extra with the Rocket Punch. For kills, though. Thought the high was a little too slow. Maybe just hit a little too high. Either way, just not confirmed. Roll opportunity on the super jump forward. Buttergun here, a little careless from Miles and the way he's approaching with Doom. You have to be more careful. Back to it again with the Javelins here, forcing so much respect out of these situations. One up Miles, just gonna catch the Javelin to the face. He's gonna end up dying off of this one. He's gonna look for the snap. It's not gonna combo. Okay. Oh, that was certainly a push block there. Crouching heavy, not gonna work. Gonna go for the X Factor here. Try and put an exclamation mark on this one. One up Miles. Gotta get back into this. Take it to a game five. Standing heavy! Okay, but it's all up to him. The one true anchor. He's gonna get clipped right away. Gonna have to go for a TAC. Oh, try to go for the double! You could have just done it with Virgil! Oh, you set yourself up to need two TACs. What a heartbreaker. Oh, a little bit of hesitation there. Stopped the block string short and got punished for it. One up Miles is definitely in the advantage situation now. Back into another meter for Swords. Oh no, reach with Swords of his own. Able to get that out in that small gap there. Oh, oh, man. A team on the left, I feel like I've seen it before. Yeah, Catboy Friender there. Playing the uh, the same team as Escalante. You know, can't say who played it first, because we don't know the history, but. Yeah, trying to establish. Oh, no, as soon as he tries to spend the meter, immediately gets clipped. Oh, and the tech chase there to teleport behind. Teleport Buster, what a great mix up. All right, very easy to get a kill Morgan off of that one here. So, honestly set himself up to pretty much have closed the game out here, potentially. Iron Fist comes in, gets a hit on Magneto. Is this legal? I mean, I guess magnetism doesn't work on Iron, maybe. Oh, and the low here, combos in. No, but he stops the super short. He had both of them. That was a game ending combo there. It's all right though, Takari able to get the air throw, easy conversion. Just has Dr. Doom to deal with. Huge whiff on the hard kick there. That was definitely a throw attempt. He's gonna be able to find the level three. Ragnarok to take the kill. <laughs> Leave it to Sack Tap to be the person to be like, optimizations about Iron Fist. He would be the one to know. I respect that. Okay. So we got ourselves activated this time. Astral Vision is a go. Honestly, Vajra is putting in overtime right now. And Iron Fist you know, clocking in himself. I can't get overworked. Go. Kill on Morgan again, setting up so well here for Takari. At this point, for me, it's just weird seeing Iron Fist without Wolverine. Gotta be honest. Watched too many Spartan throw <laughs> matches. Dashed across, was able to get the mix up there. Very nice spacing on that one from Takari to be able to get into a favorable position. Continues to build so much extra meter with these extensions with the DPs. 
Yeah, heavy forward, definitely. We can't forget about Weberman and his Iron Fist as well. There are a lot of strong Iron Fist players out there. Justin Wong played Iron Fist for a bit. Look at this lockdown. Baited the push block there. Didn't actually get a punish for it, though. Oh, take throw. That's what we had been waiting for this whole time, but doesn't get the confirm. Catboy still got a chance. Yeah, Dr. Doom with meter and X Factor always has a chance. He can take out five characters. Oh, so maybe close. he was just nervous about the throw. Yeah, yeah, very close calls there for both characters. Oh, okay. I was able to get the hit there with the Iron Fist and, oh, not quite close it out. Yeah, I think the X-Factor actually threw off the time in there a little bit. It's all right, though. The air throw ends up. Player two wins. And Takari takes the lead here 2-0 to zero over Catboy Friender. Match point here for Takari. You know what's crazy about Marvel 3? Is that so many of us Players in this bracket, players in the U.S. have traveled so far to play a game or in three to five minutes, that's it. Two or three bad choices or one input error, we lose. And we travel thousands of miles for this. That's why I love this game. I've definitely spent so much money to get dunked on from half court <laughs> in this game, bro. So I showed up to Vegas to get beat by the Monstars. <laughs> Okay. That's all right, Spartan throw. 24 hours of traveling just to get zoop zoop for 24 minutes. Spending our savings to go on to. I've definitely been there. Oh! Got the crumple just to make sure in case the missiles were going to be there to interrupt. You spent more money to play fighting games than you have on your mortgage. How cheap is housing where you live? <laughs> You know, on average, the average TNS viewer spends more time watching TNS than they do with their girlfriends. Most of us don't have girlfriends. Brings down the average. I was about to say, <laughs> I'm doing my part. <laughs> super, super to take the kill for Takari. Very nice stuff. Tails Mr. E jokingly said he was going to play Phoenix Point. Uh, and he's delivering. <laughs> oh, he's also a pretty decent start here. Almost had a happy birthday to start the round. Uh, he's already halfway gone, though. Just taking a couple of hits of projectiles. Phoenix is gone. Chat, wasn't there a player that played Phoenix Point that used to start every single round with Super X Factor? No way. Does anybody else remember this? I know this is not just a fever dream. Chat, come, to me back. come back to me on that one. All right. It's very noble of Tails Mr. E to play a 2v3. Death wish. I knew, I knew that was a real person. <laughs> Yo, assist okay, coming through with the sub. Thank you so much, 20 months. Ooh, wakes up with the bionic arm, gets the hit. See, this is all a ploy, just have more meter for Spencer. He could have picked a bigger meat shield. Ooh, the overhead converts easily. There's Tails of Mr. E, the Marvel player, and then there's Tails of Mr. E, Spencer, the Marvel player. Oh, this Bionic Arm may not, oh, it did not work out here. Virgil able to get to the other side of the screen. And heavy for max distance there. Oh, <laughs> the back hitbox hits Spears. Try dash jump light hitting on the reverse. Tales of Mr. E doesn't need three characters, bro. He only needs two. So I picked Phoenix on point just to give you a chance. Not the two and a half. You didn't actually think you could win. That's a clean skin, by the way. The white and white gold? Come on, man.
Yeah, that's pretty dope. But you know what's not clean is this Phoenix starting the point. <laughs> I think Tails and Mr. E is having second thoughts. Hey, you got second thoughts on a victory? He said, T <laughs> for YouTube, Mr. E comes in chat and says, one sec topping off my whiskey. <laughs> Very nice stuff. The dive kick not gonna make it work. Yeah, Phoenix doing a good job so far. Being able to stall things out here. Already has a bar and a half built up. Might look for the raw tag soon, but after this teleport, almost gets the happy birthday. Double cross up with the lightning. Tails of Mr. E might be time to switch back to the main chicken. Lafaris hit the nail on the head. Tails of Mr. E is playing Point Phoenix to get to X Factor 3 Spencer faster. Here we go. You got your wish, and it's not going to work. Especially with that X Pack, they're gonna make sure this is very easily finished off. Great stuff here to one up Miles. Tails of Mr. E finally taking that L. Might be time for a swap. Yeah, there you go. You know, straight to the Nova, actually. Okay. Okay, a little bit of a mix of not gonna get too much else. Still looking for it here. Tails of Mr. E is throwing in these Centurion rushes a little bit, trying to find the counter hit. That was a great delay, but it doesn't matter. He still finds the touch. So Genmu is active. He's gonna be able to very easily carry it off of the mid screen, confirm. Has X Factor if he feels like he needs to build the meter. It's not going to work out. Goes for the cross up, though. How's chat feel about the Nova to zero head to head? It's certainly zero's favor. Nova's out here doing his best. He's just trying hard. Oh, dude. But with that touch and the follow up here. One of Miles setting himself up in a great position here to potentially just finish. Lightning loops begin. Oh, he drops. But then we act to keep him locked down. You do not want him to be able to access any of this X Factor, and that's so smart for one up Miles. Instead of trying to flood the screen with the fireballs, he goes up to air to air. Very, very smart. Making all the best calls here with a two to one now. Uh, looks like we're gonna try to go a different route with Magneto now. Oh, with the Hagar on the team? He's going back to his main stuff. This is his main stuff. He's been picking teams. I, I, you know, honestly, <laughs> his main stuff is Spencer. He's been playing his main team the whole time. It really doesn't matter at this point. That's true. Sentinel? I don't know if he's got those. Pick the Hagar. I, th I think Sentinel is a good choice here. Getting those drones out? My heart wants the Hagar, though. Yeah, bro. Like I said, yeah. Glass, this is uh, this is the Coach Monday of, of the UK. Doesn't matter what he picks. Captain America. Now, that's, that's what I'm talking about. This is going to give him the best chance here. I think with this Captain America switch with Spencer and Doom in the back. Oh, 
not on, okay, maybe on your watch, Captain America. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe Captain America wasn't the good choice, you know? This is not gonna give him the best chance here. Oh, that linked? Yeah, Zen Guppy, we don't have a match arena for today. What we do have is a donation drive because the winner of the EU tournament series is going to win a free trip to EVO. Yo, big shouts to the homie, the Kill Sage, coming through. 11 months with the sub. Thank you so much. Yeah, congratulations on the continued success with Mixed Masters, dude. You've been killing it. Yeah, and with everything else going on. Yeah, oh, I forgot about the free cheeseburger. You get the flight, the hotel, the Evo registration, and the cheeseburger. I'm more excited about the, I'm mostly excited about the cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you feel like contributing to that, exclamation donate in the chat. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it's going to be that first link in the con uh, description below. Oh, that very late cross. I'm still going to punch in the face for it. We got that infamous Spencer out, but unfortunately competing at full screen against Zero in the squad, it's not going to work out too good. And it doesn't matter how bionic the arm is, we're straight back into the loops, and that should do it for one-up Miles. Tales of Mr. E, maybe, to you know, he topped off the whiskey one too many times. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy, though. Going back to his roots here. Playing against Chris Redfield, Wolverine's obviously a great choice. Oh, maybe it's a terrible choice getting stomped on frame one. Yo, Ryan to Mime coming through with five gifted subs. Thank you so much for all the love. Big shout out to Ryan to Mime. That's a good way to start top eight, you know? HC, Sentinel's gonna take the kill. Tag back into Chris. No, we're leaving Sentinel in for the mix, but mistimes it. Oh, and nothing worse than mistiming it to immediately get thrown. I'm only going to get better, just for you. I'm not good enough. Oh, drops. Yeah, misses the dark hole there, but that's all right. Stocking player does enough chip here to force the DHC. No, no DHC from Glass. Oh, uh, yeah, I had to go for it. Didn't have the meter, though, and didn't want to spend his X either. Oh, the quick button from Glass there, reaching out with that foot. That hit from there? That I, has some cheap range. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh, Dark Hole, a lot of extra damage. <laughs> Explosion, forgot all about that one. I did too, don't worry. Is that Reach? Are you kidding me? Oh, not enough to kill though, and Spartan Throne whips a move there, trying to cover the tech. Oh, a little too far for the extension there. Get the raw tag anyways, though. Maybe that was a setup here. I think he meant to throw a flame grenade. Oh, and there we go. Stinger right in the DT, able to get the full conversion. Just Dormammu left. Oh, and standing medium, the best anti-air in the kit there as far as normals go for Dante. You see that so often. It's such a good preemptive stop. Yeah, I definitely think standing medium is a hella underrated move. Okay, tech came out. The tech into the low is the Wolverine class at this point. It's, just, it, it's embedded into their DNA. You know, these flame grenades from Chris are really slow and Spartan thrown down. Oh, almost had the conversion there with the drones. A little too high. Yeah, I feel like Spartan Throne is having to pause here quite a bit with these flame grenades out. And for good reason, you can see what happens when he runs right into it. He gets blown up for it. Oh, oh. And there it goes, the delayed explosion from the flame grenade. Oh man, just to get both. How much more are you willing to spend? Just one more bar and the X. Spending it all, baby. Get rid of these characters. Just Sentinel left. Got that X Factor 3. A couple of missed opportunities there in that exchange. Too fast, though, to really react. 
You have to know. Oh, good extensions. Didn't have any meter to capitalize, though. Both players playing fast, but also being overly cautious. I mean, this is a match to get you into winner's finals. You don't want to take too many chances. Oh, man. It is comedy genius every time Iron Fist flies by without hitting anything, by the way. I smile every time. <laughs> He's, like, just, he's really like trying a, hard. Like an old 50 sitcom or something. <laughs> Ooh, crouching light into the cross up with Berserker Slash. The tail is all the time. That Spark Drone finally able to get started here with Wolverine. Only took him to the third game. Oh! Almost got the throw there, but both were thinking the same. Able to get it in the air, though. And is able to take the kill, very nice. Jump heavy, not gonna be able to connect here. Try to go for the standing medium, stick that armor out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still able to get it off the switch up. Gets the confirm. No, it's not gonna fully combo. That's gonna be an easy punish there, Sparty. It goes for the teleport, you know, just again for the fans, just because you can. Nice follow ups there from Spartan Throw. Continuing to impress. Last taking a second for himself. Had the character select here. Potentially thinking about a swap. Definitely not expecting the, the swap here. Glass has been doing an incredibly good job with all of these, uh, with his team specifically. I think Sentinel has been putting in the most heavy lifting. It's just especially hard to pilot Sentinel into this team. We think the last needs some Windex. I hope you feel bad about that one. <laughs> oh, Iron Fist gets both. Is going to be able to get the X Factor on the OTG. Doesn't even need it. Even though Chris drops out, still able to get Dante. I feel like Dormammu should be invulnerable to anything fire. Why aren't no, they going to no. introduce elements to Marvel? I'm 100% down. Okay. Oh my goodness, the super gets blown up by Iron Fist here. And Chaotic Flame comes through to finish off Chris. Okay, the Sentinel, like we said, though, has been so capable tonight. Standing light. Don't get too much for it. Oh my goodness, the Iron Fist pays off again. <laughs> Dude, continues to find so many touches off of that Iron Fist assist. Three games for Spartan Throne. So. Oh my god, clean hit. That I'm Nova, but stronger. More muscles, he said. Yeah, it's a treat to get to see Doppel Ghost play again. Bringing that door into action here. This is definitely one of the most unique teams I've seen at high level competitive Marvel. Like, you know, we see, uh, obviously, we see, you know, Iron God, you know, play Thor with his uh, Doctor Strange and Raccoon Shell. And this, you know, Arthur and Firebrand, I would say, is even more unique. Oh, the alpha counter? That was, was that the alpha counter? Oh, my God. It was. Into the luminous body. Still able to find the hit afterwards here. Is able to just take them both out. Cleans up the house. Doppel ghost. Yeah, the most effective use of that X Factor there to finish off that happy birthday. Fight. 
Yeah, knowing he only had one meter there, that he, he really made some snap decisions that paid off for him, especially because Firebrand isn't phenomenal at picking up happy birthdays anyway. Oh my god, Dolphin Kick, the great equalizer. Javelin there. We've seen that a lot from uh, from Reach tonight. He's been uh, trying to consistently reset with the Javelin there, but unfortunately the reset is not enough to do it. Okay, potentially going to try and set up for a hard tag here. A lot of times you don't see Arthur's ride out their full armor in one sitting. Oh my god, nice adjustment. He almost got, that almost worked like a burst. <laughs> <laughs> Accidental burst. Uh, tries to get a ground throw and an air throw, but Thor is the one that actually gets the throw. Doppel goes free to roam now. Okay. Use that for, uh, that's one of the first times I've seen that super be useful. Try to use it for lockdown there. Okay. Oh, just uses that actually, uses the swoop actually to get out of trouble, and there's the alpha counter again. Thapagos really has a good handle on all of his characters here with the, the, the alpha counters. We've seen him use it with Firebrand in the first game. Did that still hit him? An evasion, but oh, I cannot evade forever. Mighty charge. Two down two games now for Double Goose after the very quick first game reach. A lot of work to do, but there's the throw to start. We got to see a, a TAC infinite, or we got to set ourselves up. Yeah, the TRC is blocked. Oh, used all your red health there, and then uses a meter as well. So many resources lost there for Reach, a character, a bar. Yeah, it's the bait. Sad, I see you in the chat. He said, Thor, maybe not that bad. Don't, be don't believe it. It's just Doppelgost being this good. Every Thor player I know is just an amazing player. Thor kind of sucks, bro. Look at the foot dive. That could be you. E, the, from the top rope, tries to go for the Randy Savage. Not going to get the full confirm. Breach instead. Going to be a try and take back control. Someone said Doppel's team is metal as F. I can't say that word on YouTube anymore. Um, yeah, I would say, honestly, they could be in a rock band. <laughs> I can see them being in a heavy metal band. What do you think? If this drops, I'm going to scream, by the way, because you could have just leveled three. Okay. You got to uh, believe. Reach got skills. I have trust issues. <laughs> I've been hurt before, Tossley. Oh my god. That's it, Heavy Forward. AF stands now for Ass Friend. <laughs> Look, we just can't say fuck on YouTube anymore, all right? Hey, edit that out. Here's your one. Yeah. Wow, the, the director's cut of the infinite. <laughs> Go for the long version in the air. Oh, but Thor, with all his infinite wisdom and help, able to survive. Oh, <laughs> the box dash S. Great call there. Thor having to come out with pixel help, not going to survive. OTG, but no 
assist there to be able to actually get the extra hits on it. Low profiles the beam naturally, but Short King can't protect you forever. Oh, human Rocket Punch able to convert in the full combo here. Reach might be pushing this to a game three. I mean, game five. Unless. Oh, oh my God. Unless. Still finds the air to air off of that situation somehow. Oh, and the kidnap. Oh, the unfortunate. Oh, no, that's actually a plan drop. What do you mean? It's all part of the game plan. Doppel Ghost. Swooping in for the victory with Firebrand, reverse OCV. Oh, my God. Here we go. One up, Miles going up against the thing upstairs. Big shout outs to everybody that's been following the channel today. Big shout outs to everyone following the Twitch. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to watch these loops, though. Rapid Flash, gonna build up a third bar off of this man. What can't this character do? Oh, uh, okay. Holly asks, will TNS be selling merch at Evo? Yes, but only out of the back of a car. On some new face stuff. <laughs> True class. If you know, you know. Yeah, True yeah. classic. We, uh, we can't afford a, a Evo boot. Those are expensive. Okay, Leaf Shield, that is not going to happen. We are not going to do wallet chains. <laughs> oh, my God. Finished him off again. One more opportunity here. A knight. He never falters. TNS Jansport collab, that would go so stupid hard. Nah, I think the TNS Tramp Stamp is definitely the better idea. Oh, JS, also a pretty decent idea here. One up, Miles, taking the first game. First person to get a TNS tattoo, I'm taking you out on a date. I don't care who you are. You could be my mother, I'm taking you out on a date. Oh my god, completely obliterates the buster there. Comes through, gets the hit. All right, Magic Pixel Mexican. That's what. That's one thing we're not going to do is the TNS Chippendales, all right? TNS Chips, maybe. Okay, me and my homie Dale. <laughs> Gotta avoid those up arrows. One of the most important parts of the matchup here is Doom versus Taskmaster. He gets free confirms off of that if he's already dashed forward. Gold Nut, if you get a tramp stamp of my face, we can get married. Oi! Box jump. Very brave against Taskmaster there. He's obviously so good at, uh, at going for the anti airs at normal jump height. Try to look for the dive kick. Not going to work. Super comes through. Foot dive beats it completely clean. Up with the swords. Dude, Andy finishes it off. Dormammu comes in. And rapid slash. I feel like we have seen that, I think, is a stylistic difference between EU and uh, North America. Y'all do not rapid slash as much as we do. Y'all are trying way too hard. Y'all are not using the tools right in front of you. Rapid slash is broken. And that is a kill for one up. Miles takes another one. So y'all use it as a mix-up tool, and we use it as neutral. There's a big difference. We are not the same. Just the 800 plus people hanging out for Marvel, by the way, guys. On a Saturday, early evening. Dude, this is amazing. Super, super. Very easily secures the kill here on Zero. Stalking Flare gonna stay floating high above. Oh, okay. Wow. A 
able to find the foot dive there. Crazy stuff. He's going to go for the snap, actually. Arthur's going to be the choice here. I feel like you got to kill this team in order. Let's see how it works out for him here. Pops the X-Factor to kill the Arthur now. Dormammu and Task still alive, though. A more than capable duo. Well, maybe not capable enough here. One up Miles, too strong. He heard me talking about Rapid Slash. He had to bring it back. Oh, and that was actually a pretty okay opportunity for an X Factor there. Thing upstairs going to hold on to it and might die with it here. Yeah, looking like it's all over. One up Miles is going to be able to move on here. Three to zero. Good stuff from Miles for sure. Let's see if Holt is going to be all right in, in the uh, one of his toughest matchups here. Oh, he's putting some work in the Iron Fist. Zero able to get the throw in response, though. This matchup here, if Ashley Schaefer can get through Zero, this is all downhill for him. You know, Iron Fist and Strider doesn't really give Hulk Sentinel Hagar a lot of problems. Iron Fist is about to have a whole problem of his own. He's dead. Yeah, being able to lose out on one of the high-powered assists here to be able to support the zero, and then loses zero himself. But like you said, Strider's not a great anchor against this team. Yeah, only because of the sheer amount of health here. Strider can get through, about on average, about two to two and a half characters in X-Factor 3. But against a big body team like this, oh. He might be able to get through two and a half characters. Hagar still going to give him some problems, though. Or oh. not. Shoot. Maybe I'm wrong here. That's right. the best anchor for this team, yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. I guess if you get hit, anybody's a good anchor, you know? Looks like he's about to get chipped out here for sure. Oh, I feel that pipe coming. You knew it was happening. He teleports right into it. Jump back. Fade away pipe. Like wow. I said, Strider not a good anchor against this team, bro. Dude, the jump back pipe so smart. Oh, picked the wrong gamma charge, though. Doesn't get the kill on zero for it. Gamma wave so durable, it actually can stop zeros of uh, projectiles there. If you can get it out on time. The only downside is it's such a slow startup. Block. Jump over too, trying to keep himself safe from these situations, but there's the clean hit. And he kills the DP too, did the math, good stuff. Extension. He needs to again move. Last meter, but I mean, well spent. No! Not going to get to fully use it. Yeah, Zero not able to get out there. Hagen and Hagar might be a good choice getting to use those drones or just use the pipe. Pipe is unblockable. Oh, I think that he thought he was going to do all of the heavy acts there, but it's just a medium. Yeah, he kind of waited. Hagar just jumped over. Oh, this one's going to be a tough one to convert here for. Yep. Perfectly spaced, though. Great timing by Ashley Schaefer, BMW. Oh. Big whiff there on the heavy hoodlum launcher attempt. Too hard of a read there. Oh, he's going to X defensively here. Has another chance to the Lariat. Dude, Takari knows it. Oh, no. Not going to be able to survive here. Strider making use of this X-Factor still. But it's going to run out by the time Sentinel gets in. Oh, got caught with his mouth open. Busted for it. Yeah, on big body Sentinel, you already know Legion's going to be enough. The only character that Super is decent on. <laughs> The 
Jakari, who did not enter week one, doing some mad work here in week two. Gotta pile that chip on as much as you can. Sticks that big foot out. I try to go push block. Oh, and landed a huge standing H on Strider. Strider, yeah, he's gonna be out. Ooh, that's a smart DHT to keep yourself very safe off of that, too. Oh, he did enter week one? Damn, we just didn't see him. Tough. <laughs> Damn, he, he must have had a ton of rust on. He's like Iron Giant levels of rust out here. Because he's doing fire right now in week two. Oh, he just barely dashes back underneath. Go to release the buster and get the cross up here. Off to the Sentinel. Has hard drive, three bars, plenty of resources. Okay, a little Frogger action. Very slowly trying to get across the screen. That's the first old game where you dodge things I can think of. That's gotta be something else. It's a way better one for sure. Pac-Man, you dodge things. Was Frogger before Pac-Man? I don't know. Yeah, even I'm not that old. <laughs> I mean, he's roughly the same color as Q-Bird. You know Q-Bird. Bro, you don't know anything about Q-Bird, okay? <laughs> I don't know this. I know he's yellow. Sentinel running out of X-Factor here. Definitely greatly reduces his chances. Akari oh. popping his own X-Factor. Unprovoked, actually. Oh, he gets the crushing medium. He didn't believe. No. Yeah, he went straight in the flight there. Everybody gets hit by, oh, and the big launcher, he knew. He's a genius. Said it's all part of the long, long-term plan. Player two wins. Ashley Schaefer able to hold out with that patience. Might come down to a game five again. We've seen it happen so many times. Yo, Ninja B coming through with the sub nine months now. Hit him with a baby sub. Oh, we're in that corner now. But luckily, Hagar's there to kind of relieve some of that pressure. Oh, good plot, a push block after the crouching medium. All right, you, you got that username just to mess me up. <laughs> yeah, Flacuse Per Dizo, thank you so much for coming through with the sub. Appreciate it. Sorry I butchered your name there. Oh, once again, going for the hard read. Doesn't matter, though. Drones allows for a mix-up when you miss. Dude, and he kills him with the meteor. Just going to grab it. Didn't even have to hit him with it. <laughs> He's out beer bag. All right, let's get it. All right, one up, Miles going up against Glass here. It's kind of a fire set here. Hold on, dude. Oh, just barely doesn't lose both there. The timing just barely mismatched. I don't think they. I don't think we can do a TNS North Korea. I'm pretty sure that's the one place we don't have viewers. Too much freedom in Marvel. If they nerf Captain America, though, you think they let him uh, let him play Marvel in Korea, North Korea? <laughs> Ain't Cap ass enough? <laughs> Not enough. Oh my God! Hey, got the air to air. That's so smart to super jump there to try and get hit by it sooner, so he wasn't the the potential for a cross up. You think Kim Jong-un is a zero player? No, he's definitely a more doom player. You know he likes the missiles, bro. I'm sorry. 
Bro! <laughs> Crouch medium! DHC to take the kill. Too far? Absolutely too far! Nice button from Miles! Nah, leave that one to YouTube. <laughs> leave that one in. <laughs> Oh, God, I had the mix up. Again, this has been the standout performer here for Glass. Dude, he makes Sentinel with Jam Session look broken. Oh, he gets the kill again. And coming into Doom, I feel like Doom versus Sentinel is already an even matchup. Adding Jam Session to the equation, you know, makes it Doom's favor, obviously, because very nice air throw there. I like, like the decision making. <laughs> Dante's so excited to be here. Got the air to air. Didn't get the killer B though. Ay, cross up. Very nice stuff. One up miles. Should be able to get the kill off of this one here. See where the life bar kind of extends? That's like roughly the landmark for level three. As long as you're in that neighborhood. That's my personal marker for when I know it'll kill. I would say it's just below the, uh, if you get just below the, the black indent of the health bar. Mm. Yeah, right where it gets thick. Yeah. I think we're on the same page here. I just wanted to say thick. Oh, he, Molotov, no, missed out again. Wasn't ready for it. I mean, how could you really calculate that though? Hero is able to find the hit from max distance there. A lot of the times when he hits with the tip of the sword, it does drop because it's weird with the multi hits, but this time it works out beautifully. Oh, and the jump medium to jump medium. Just enough to kill Zero there. I feel like Miles is just super jumping to bait and overextension from Glass, and it's almost worked a couple times. Yeah, I, I mean, in my opinion, jump medium from Sentinel is definitely one of the most underused, underrated moves in this game. You can really contest a lot of airborne opponents from half screen. Only the good Sentinels use jump medium. That's why I never use it. Oh, auto block did overtime there. But we stagger. Standing light into Stinger. A little accidental frame trap there, only because Dante's normal suck. <laughs> and that can no, oh, you hit the hard part. Yeah, sick air-to-air -air conversion there, but this is the OTG. This might still work out for Dante, though. Four foot dive away, though. It doesn't matter. Gets the chip. One apiece for both players here. I mean, we're getting to that part of the bracket. It can literally go any way. Okay, look for the Super Jump Magnum there, just for a little bit of extra damage. And max distance on the Lightning. Barely touches with the tip. Full control here for Miles. Hard drive, good attempt to escape. I oh, and another amazing combo fix there. Miles looking incredibly impressive in this game. Has just felt like he's had the answer at every single turn. Can do no wrong. Though. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is definitely one of those zero games here. One of Miles watching this one in game three. The ED says, so, so Genmu is just a death sentence for the opponent. In a lot of situations, yes. There's two up Miles now. I see it, I see it. Glass, what's the decision here? Has gone to character select and thought about a switch more than once here. Oh, low MPH action. Okay, I like this. If you're confident in Chris to kill zero, I think that Strider will help a ton against Doom. And having a better anchor, obviously. Still not able to land any shots here with the guns. Oh, it's all right though, Flame Grenade saves the day. Zero diving right into it. Chris able to take advantage. Class is already looking better with the switch here. I got the air to air straight away too. Has level three, but his sensor's gonna go for snap. I really like this decision. Unfortunately, as soon as the block string ends, one up Miles, able to take advantage. Pop the X Factor, try and capitalize fully. Look at all this meter one up Miles has on his side. Doesn't matter though when you don't have any help. Last going for the level three here, pulling it early. Yeah, kill all the X Factor time. Guarantee yourself the kill. Still have uh, meter for the incoming too. Glass looking in real good shape here with the Dante Strider. Not much Doom can do here. Very limited options, just trying to get in as close as he can, but he does, and he's able to get the air throw. No, tries to go overly optimal though. It doesn't get the kill for it. Yeah, Dante had already lost a little bit of health. Doesn't matter though, the box dash medium goes right over Dante's head, able to cross him up. To go for both players here. If Glass gets away, uh, but he's not gonna get to here. Uh, same side, messed him up here. And even with the little spot, he should be able to finish this combo. Oh, no, Miles was against the ropes, and but Glass kind of gave that one back to him. He said, you deserve it. All right, guys, three up Miles. We like to see it. Three up Miles, man. <laughs> Shattering the glass out here. Big shout out to Glass, though, for coming through fifth place. Here we go. Ashley Schaefer, BMW, bringing out that Hulk action here. There we go. Reach. All he had to do was block to get away, but he box dashed right back in. That's the Nova brain cell. It takes over. You want a you dolphin kick so bad. Heavy forward, we don't appreciate that word here. Nice tag, gets the super jump out, finds the throw as well. I wouldn't be upset about X Factor. Yeah, instead of calling it sideways fat, we call it sideways, sideways taller. He's gonna go for the snap. The snap is gonna choose to be Hagar though. Oi, and yeah, maybe not the best here. You just brought the ass whip into yourself. Oh, no, landed on the ass. Not able to convert, though. It's all right. Pipe is able to get the conversion done. Oh. Oh, great timed X Factor there to punish. And we all know Virgil can handle all of this. Sick of this coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. That's my boy from the West Coast, 14 months. Got an accidental backdash, no punish on it though. X Factor timing too fast. Drone saved the day on that one. Ooh, good push block timing. Be able to kind of trivialize that mix up here. An amazing alpha counter, and he has X Factor. Oh yeah, it's gonna be an easy punish and finish here. 
I love to see a good alpha counter. Nothing gets me more excited than alpha counters in this game. I'm sick of seeing y'all in the chat being over six foot, all right? I think if you're over six foot, you shouldn't be allowed to play top tiers, all right? All right That's enough bad. privilege for y'all. Hanging up my Nova. Nobody should be allowed to play zero or Morgan if you're over six foot tall. Standing pipe being an overhead would be a really nice touch to this game. The icing on the cake. I thought Marvel 3 couldn't get better and then standing pipe became an overhead. Standing, all, all of Hagar's moves should hit overhead. Crouch light should hit overhead and low. That's the only way to make Hagar fair. That character sucks. Bob does X Factor here. Yo, shout out to all my short kings in the chat. I see y'all. Check him low, but there's the Lariat, the great equalizer. Okay, got the tag back into hold, tries to go for the Helmbreaker. I mean, no X-Factor. Uh, you have a lot of meter. You might as well take a swing for it. One of my... <laughs> <laughs> I read your message. <laughs> I'm so sick of you in the chat, but you're goaded, bro. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> you were writing what I was thinking. It's okay. <laughs> Me too, baby. Oh, there we go. That's my favorite round start is Nova against Hulk. Just mash jab. Sometimes you can really catch him off guard. Have a look at the drones now, too. I really like this. <laughs> Agent Moose said, make Lariat EX Goken Tatsu <laughs> from, from Street Fighter 4. I like that. I, I, no, I like Pike, too. I like a good one. Ooh, we get off of that. Yeah, this match has been all Ashley Schaefer so far. Able to block the EVO winning mix up there. Reach getting the throw off of it from X Factor. Gonna be able to kill with no meter. Oh, and keeps it back into the corner with that with the way the mix up goes too. Yeah, you gotta love the dash under rapid slash. So tricky. X Factor running out, forced to spend the meter here. DHCs for double trigger as well. He's got plenty of meter on deck. He can definitely get a kill here. Oh, yeah. One hit, one suit. Okay, reach. You know, getting back into this one. Crawling back into it. Two to one now. Yeah, the patience from Reach paying off there. Able to just wait for Hulk to jump in and get the air throw from it. Oh, and standing underneath, waiting with the stand jabs. He's got to watch out for that Lariat assist underneath, though. Or, or the Hagar hard tag, maybe. Crouch H, able to catch Hagar, though. That's a bold move. Great TC break. Not yeah. Able to, yeah, not able to get the super off there because the drone's in his face. Rachel's doing really good to start off here, but now this is looking like Ashley Schaefer once again with the pipe. It's basically unblockable. Yeah, beats crouching medium, super clean. Oh. oh. Yeah, a little overextension there with the hoodlum launcher attempt. There you go. Himself set up with the swords. My favorite swords confirm stand perfectly still. <laughs> I feel like Reach getting rid of Hagar here is really strong in his favor. That's definitely the assist that's given him the most trouble here. I feel the super jump out. No punish though. Falls with the jump H. This game four has been back and forth. Looks like Reach is coming back on top though. Try and clear the screen there. Super jump. No, just gets a normal jump, actually. Yeah, I kind of missed the down on that super jump input. 
You know he wanted that free punish. Oh, good block there. Was trying to bait the X Factor. Marvello, get out of here with that blasphemous talk. Nova Doom does not suck without Spencer. Spencer makes it better for sure. It only doesn't have damage if you don't have infinites. Yeah. <laughs> like, a lot of damage on the super. And the DHC to push it to a game five. Man, I complimented Captain Joe too much, and now it is game five. Oh my God. That's my bad. <laughs> Marvella out here with the propaganda, trying to tell us his team sucks. Switching the storm. You're switching. The, you're complaining about damage, and you switch the storm. Pick a side, bro. Pick a struggle. I love Storm as a character. She just sucks. I really like Storm. It sucks that she sucks. She's been too good too many times, though. Marvel said he a stride player now. He ain't never even heard of this game. Oh. Shout out to Marvello though. Obviously one of the best Marvel players to do it. Now a top uh, top Guilty Gear Strive player. Ooh, that's gonna miss everybody though. Oh, heavy bombs. Actually beats that completely clean. Nice push block timing, but he goes straight in with the rocket punch. Man, Ashley Schaefer was doing so good. Now reach. About to take it here in this match point. Oh, is, we're gonna get, I think we're gonna get Virgil. No, Virgil misses there. All right, though, able to chip out Nova. But honestly, I'd rather have Virgil if you ask me. Snapping in Virgil's a great idea. No meter on his side though, doesn't matter. The Evo winning mix up, Oak Hagar. And popping the X-Factor there to cancel blocks that actually makes that mix up even harder to block sometimes. Oh, messed up the mix uh, mix up there. Definitely would have worked because the jump H actually stopped the air dash. That air throw put work that we need has X Factor and the scariest character in the game. Oh, one whiffed lariat there. 100k health down for Hagar. He's just, he's got to be able to plink. If you can't plink, this matchup sucks. If you can plink, you win it. Doesn't matter if you can plink, though. If your opponent makes a mistake there, like Spear Flame. Yeah, Dash Larry, it's so clutch for the punish to close out the game five. Oh, you a liar. But here we are doing it right now in winner's finals. Spartan Throne, Doppel Ghost. Who's going to make it to winner's side grands here? Losing this match has a lot of implications because the loser of this match is going to have to go on and play either 1UP Miles or Ashley Schaefer BMW. And I wouldn't want to do that. Oh, okay. Oh, Flame Bottle saves the day. Oh, did he stop it? I have actually never seen that before. Yeah, a little too short for the conversion there for Wolverine. Forces the X Factor from Firebrand, but Air Firebrand catches the low. Okay. Oh, hi, that's so cheap. Set up for the flight. Didn't think he was going to get enough charge there. So instead, it's Chuck's first trouble. Yeah, big whiff there. Oh, he's in that weight class, I see. Gets the extra juggle. That's always the sickest thing to see. I love that combo. All right, Spartan Throne able to get a character off of Doppel here, even it up. The Spartan's got X Factor on his side and a ton of chip, this Chaotic Flame. Okay, I mean, has some meter, but how do you close the gap as Thor against Dormammu with the crazy assist to get off him? Yeah, Thor all by his lonesome here. He's going to have some trouble. He needs the rest of the Avengers out here. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, but no conversion off of it. Wasn't able to confirm that hit. Oh, that was it, dude. Nah, Mr. E, big love to you guys for supporting. You guys are the ones keeping the Marvel scene alive out there. We're just trying to show it off.
Damn, Thor almost came back there. One hit. That's why I love this game, man. At any point, one hit can make all the difference. Okay. Snap. Yep, mid screen. Wow, that is so hard to deal with with that spacing. Especially with a character that doesn't really have any escapes. Even with a second jump, Arthur is so slow in the air. Nice. Oh, really unfortunate. That super just hits nobody. Oh, we cancel into the into the speech? We're cutting promos during neutral? Hey man, we gotta get meter how we can get it, you know? Alright, Doppel goes still in a stressful situation though. No X Factor, but the raw launcher picks up both opponents. Okay, that is just unfair footsies. You know, I realize Doppelghost never goes for an unblockable setup of any kind. I think he's done it like in neutral once. Yeah. <laughs> and it was so, the setup was so weird. Here we go. Oh, almost had the command throw set up there with the DHC. So Mamu's already playing Frogger, though. See? Yeah, yeah, it's funny when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> go through with the pillar. Nice extra damage here. Even with the assist advantage here, Thor has so much trouble approaching Dormammu, and he's not even going to get a chance. Lives it, still really, really tall. Oh. Tried to slide in there with the kidnap. Nothing doing though. Spartan thrown. He said, "I'm sorry, I'm married." <laughs> oh, catches the jump back there from Thor. Two games already for Sparty. He's gonna be able to set up for the snap here if he wants it, and he does. Oh, and that's gonna catch him here. Drill calling the wrong way. Oh, no, no extension afterwards, though. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Thor completely whipping there as an assist. It's okay, though. Arthur gets in position. The super again is this time gonna be able to kill Wolverine. Back Thor back in for the incoming. Oh, just gets him in neutral. Yeah, we don't need incoming mix-ups, bro. I love this combo. No, tries to reset there. Only had one bar, didn't want to spend his X Factor. Now he might lose Thor for it. Yeah, you got to use your resource. You can't be saving out here, man. Economy's real rough. You got to spend what you got. Okay, has full charges, has meteors charged at this point. Oh, that might do some serious damage to both. Dormammu, though, able to get the spells off. That super actually does still link. Yeah, Spartan to force the X Factor there. Dormammu's getting real low on health from the chip. You can just confirm that? He had him in the infinite. <laughs> Fireballs just keep connecting. Yeah, Firebrand actually has a really strong fireball game in the zone, especially if you utilize the wall clings. Didn't really need to do that too much, though. Doppel Ghost able to get it. And Firebrand making the difference in that one. That's how we've seen the opener be quite a lot, though. Thor is not doing a great job into this uh, into this Wolverine. I mean, who can blame him? Yeah, luckily he has Arthur to back him up, though. Arthur able to get the daggers in the super for a second time. Jumping backwards to catch Wolverine as well. Keeping him at bay. Oh, 
Oh, TAC to stall yourself in the air even longer. Alpha counter comes through, punishes with the super, and has the presence of mind to see the space and get the dive kick to extend. x Factor does manage to get the block, throw comes through. Assist for the pickup, really good spacing there to make sure it's gonna work out. Oh, and I think those daggers are still going to stick him from behind there. Okay. Yeah, it's going to look TAC. Oh, got the extendo clip combo there, but unfortunately had to drop it at the end. <laughs> All of those combos. That also combos! That's a full confirm! It's a little life though. Accidental wall clean gets him hit there. With that throw, Iron Fist might be able to build up just enough meter, maybe? No, had to drop it there. Mm, tried to frame a trap with the Super 2, didn't work out. Okay, a little in and out game. Luminous. Going for Chip there, not enough. That Luminous body puts him in plenty of time to be able to block here. And the zoning game might not be a bad idea there, especially on the ground, switches sides. Spartan throw, I think, was still an auto block, though. Okay, and after the Luminous Body activation sets it up for a game five. Dude, incredibly back and forth. Sparty is going to go to character select, actually. He's going to pick Magneto. Okay. So wants to switch it up here. Magneto Dorm Doom, huge switch up of characters. You know, I feel like Wolverine was doing fine against Thor. In the point battle, Wolverine was winning. Yeah. Thor just has a lot of help. And yeah, not only that, but missing mix-ups on Arthur there. Missed time stuff in the mid-screen. Maybe Magneto is working out just a little bit better. Ah, uh, drops though. Chad's saying it's a counter pick, but counter pick for who? Double goes looking good. That that's a counter pick for Double goes. Good choice. Oh, dude, Andy finds the hit here. Firebrand. Work. Is he gonna confirm? It's a launcher. I said week one, we did see Doppel go speed Spartan throw. We might see that again here in the command throw. Wow. If we're gonna be playing like that, then we're gonna wrap up this game five potentially. Yeah, just Doctor Doom left here. Spartan throw. Not really known for his Doctor Doom, but he definitely can play them. Shimmy the movement. Oh, crack medium though. Here we go. Sparty opportunities. Oh, the relentless fireball game. Keeping himself in Luminous Body too. Wants to stay mobile. And it should be it. All you gotta do is spin the super, and he does. Keeps it exceptionally simple, and Doppelghost is gonna do it again. Yeah, bringing it back from a 2-0 deficit. He's gonna find himself in grand finals on the winner's side. There can be only one winner. Live and let die. All right, Captain Joe. Fight. 
see how you handle the zero on point. One up, Miles been looking really good. Yeah, home versus zero though, the dreaded matchup here. X-Man Chris donating $2.50 just to say death to all Morgan players, worth it, worth every penny. Oh, an excellent alpha counter, but just doesn't work out. Had the X-Factor to save himself. One up, Miles jumps right out of there. Didn't want to get command thrown. Super jump. There's a healthy amount of fear you have to have in that scenario. From both players, unfortunately. <laughs> nice connection, though. What a Miles can get the kill on the point character here. No. Drops it. And Hagar, he can fight it out. Fear side, I want every every person that sees Proxy at an event God. to call him Salisbury from now on. I'm going to be hoodie up, aviators inside. Nobody's going to find me. <laughs> well, if you're not wearing a hat, we're definitely going to know who you are. I'm going to be wearing a wig. <laughs> oh, nice air throw. Bro, Hagger beats zero. I don't care. Hagar loses to zero horribly. This is a terrible match. Hold on. Demon Phoenix just called one up Miles one inch Miles because of his comment <laughs> earlier. Oh, no. Can we get the name switch? <laughs> Not like this, bro. <laughs> oh, the no look. Oh, production, I wasn't kidding. Switch that name up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's tough. Okay, good coverage. The trade actually worked out better. All right, but if he wins this one, he's two in miles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he grows an inch for every win. Oh, level three, spend all the bar, and now one touch for either of these characters. You would understand why we switched the name if you saw his comment earlier in the chat. YouTube, this is why you got to be here live. Yeah, blame don't don't sue me, sue Demon Phoenix. All right. And yeah, we should be using the metric system here, I guess. <laughs> two point five centimeters. Is it two point five centimeters, chat? Y'all would know. I don't I don't know the conversion for inches and centimeters. All right. Math oh. is bad. All right, change it up. Put the two. He's gaming. Now, I just said this is an American game. No metric system crap. Bro, you're the first person I've seen be racist towards the metric system. <laughs> oh, my God. How you hating on measurements? <laughs> Okay. Good blocks. Really nice defense. Unfortunately, defense is not enough to win the championship here. It does help. Oh. God, standing heavy. Finish him off. Really good stuff here. Ashley Schaefer tags back in. Man, Evo champion type of mix up. We like that. Hey, with the X Factor though. Should be able to kill Hulk. See how much more he can get forward. That's the most important thing here. Getting Sentinel too. This is more than good enough. Has a little bit of X Factor to get some extra damage on Hagar, but you gotta be careful. TAC? Tags. We saw this before, and then he went for double TAC. Amazing timing on the foot dive, too, to be able to interrupt. Very smart stuff. 
Two inch miles. Slowly but surely, I can see the growth. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to just delete the audio from this all together on this match. All right, we gotta stop Proxy from Listen. being a degenerate here. <laughs> I regret nothing. I'd do it again. <laughs> I hope somebody from Evo is watching. <laughs> Standing heavy pushed him away. Oh, dive kick! Nice defense still holding up. And he gets the tag! Oh, got the low. Nice follow up there. Very nice stuff. Getting that punish so important here. Oh, the alpha counter doesn't serve any purpose there other than to reserve some help for Sentinel. Oh, oh the big pipe. Oh, misses on the incoming there. At least with zero out of the picture, though, he's got a solid chance here. Even though his characters are bleeding out. Maybe see a hard tag here. I wouldn't be upset. Oh, I think hacker is so more important to the picture here than Hulk. Oh, well, Virgil's going to be able to super jump and get this free punish here. No conversion. Doesn't matter. Gets the super jump air throw instead. to the worst solo character on the team. Oh, and that might just do it. One up Miles is gonna move on in this bracket here. There we go, yep, getting it with the DHC. Keeping it close though, that is gonna be one up Miles. Man, good stuff. Users final, Spartan Throne, staying to Magneto this time around. Wants the Magneto against Zero. Makes a lot of sense, one up Miles. Was able to take that last set three to zero here. Don't want to play Wolverine against that. Okay. Good job checking the fireball there. EM Disruptor really doing well on the zoning. Just a hair away. Normally you see standing medium there to try and get the, the that really far reaching confirm. Oh, this time Magneto just dances into the lightning there. One of Miles with the early advantage. I don't know how, how you guys feel about this. You know, some people choose to counter pick before the match starts, right? They go straight into the first game with the counter pick, and other people like to play their main stuff first before they choose to counter pick. I'm a big believer that you should pick your main team, and if it doesn't work out, you can choose to counter pick after. Yeah. Definitely the pick your stuff mentality for sure. Let me go for the snap, actually. Snaps in Dormammu to try and actually deal with the stalking flare. It's chipped out immediately. Oh, did still get the combo. I was a little worried about that, but the rising JL. Support, X Factor. Oh, and after the stare down, just waits just long enough to give him room to swing. Air throw comes through though, Sparty, even though he was able to take big advantage in the early stages of that, and then honestly get into a good position with Doom as well, still manages to lose it on an air throw. 
Really nice stuff from one up Miles there. Good defensive play. Job of stopping some of these air approaches that are attempted from one of Miles, kind of stopping them before they get started. Yeah, definitely Magneto doing much better this game too here. Able to attack forward and get out of the corner, but Zero teleports behind him, puts him right back in. Okay, Dormammu. Deals with most everything. Super jumps away though. But super jumping without a plan can be so dangerous in some of these scenarios, especially against Zero with Doom being right behind it. Oh, and the raw tag. That's gonna be a full confirm here. And he finishes his loops, dude. I agree with you, Captain Joe. I hope he doesn't play this shit at Evo. This Magneto is getting destroyed. Dude, Miles definitely handling business right now. Hardy might be time for a swap here. Two games straight, two quick ones for Ta one up Miles. Taw's landed it right there. Is, is this Spartan throwing or Spartan throwing? Damn, that is cold. Already gonna stick with it though. Oh, finds the air throw. Okay, good start. Okay, they will commit the combo. I was a little worried about that one, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Should be able to get it with a Stalking Flare though. Set yourself up for a better mix here. Does get the kill, but Stalking Flare is going to stay up in the atmosphere. Okay. Good push block. Oh, very nice defense with the box jump as well. And an anti air jab. Sparty looking much better here, but it's going to go for the snap. Tried to bait him with the try dash there, but the button from Virgil was too good. Uh. Oh, nice, a back out of the rapid slash. Does that work? It does. Perfect. This right here is gonna waste all the X-Factor time as well. X-Factor in his own. The exclamation mark on this one here has the meteor stalking flare. Chip is going to add up really quick. And one up Miles, I think he landed and tried to level three because what else can you do there? Yeah, not much against all that pressure. Okay, upward lightning. Not going to connect. Going to go for this again move. Block on the S. Smarty immediately pulls all the way out. Just wants to be as defensive as possible during the clone super. Cannot set yourself up to get uh, get mixed by situations like that. And there's the air throw to equalize again. That little dash back to make sure the dark hole is spaced correctly. That's an important note about using dark hole in combos. It comes out that set distance from Dormammu. If you call it right in the corner, it will, it will appear off screen. The meteors send the hit. Should be able to go for a snap here, but instead, oh yeah, you can snap after this, I think. No, looks for the reset though. Looking for that reset might end up being the death of him here. That's going to be the X Factor for 1UP Miles. Oh, 
Angle just checks his legs. Potential heartbreaker here. Sparty still has X though. Confirm off the super. The idea is a lot here. This mix up decides everything. Slow missiles to fall down. He just smashed his foot dive through it. Oh, accidental back dash there. Lost him another big chunk of health. Spark Jones somehow able to tie it up here with this Magneto team. That's right, I see you guys talking about it in chat. So yes, EU does have its own Marvel tournament that Ghost runs and it'll be coming back in April. So make sure you guys follow him, check that out if you guys are playing in the EU area. Anybody on that continent, definitely hit up Ghost. Hey, Spartan Throne has just been looking completely different ever since we, uh, we voiced our discontent. Maybe we fueled the fire. Yeah, he's putting his tryhard pants on for sure. Still a hit of that stocking for a left. Went away immediately. Oh, no, there's still a little bit left. Just enough to be relevant there. Is able to keep Doom from really getting away. Oh, no. Try to go for something to juggle both. Dr. Doom takes a little bit of extra damage here, but it's going to be mostly on Magneto as he goes down. Oh, Miles dropped combo and the throw, huge from Sparty. And Miles says, get me out of here. Oh, dude, look incredible, dude. He he really is pushing the meta when it comes to these characters. That's gonna be a throw to start it off for Sparty, though. Doppel Ghost obviously playing the Thor here, so without an infinite or uh, an X-Factor pop or all seven Dragon Balls, we are certainly not getting the kill on Thor. Drop this combo though. Oh, in the high low situation, gets put up very nice from Doppel Ghost. Obviously, Doppel coming from the winner's side here. And the DP after the super, able to link together and close that out. Dormammu, I feel like uh, I feel like Arthur is very comfortable in the Dormammu matchup, just because this looks like something he would have fought. <laughs> That's a Guilty Gear XX, by the way, coming through with the raid. Huge shout out. Thank you very, very much. Hope you had a good stream. Pretty good game. I love some good Guilty Gear. Oh, high low game. Doesn't work out. Still gets the hit. Keeps it in the corner. All up to the Anger Firebrand. But we've seen it work magic today. X-Factor just a hit early. Trade came out. He's going to go with the helper, actually. Not something you see as often. And he uses the helper to juggle the assist. That's unbelievable. Yo, my dude Doppelgos is playing on a different level right now. Oh, my God. Nice tech. All right, with X-Factor gone, the helper gone. It's a normal match now. Doppelghost has no meter on his side. He just needs to land the clean hit. Yeah, that are a couple fireballs. Not much to do here. I thought Doppelghost might go for a slide there just to try to get underneath that stalking flare. Barton thrown in a position to win it here. Oh, able to duck underneath, slides in just to get thrown though. Spartan thrown, able to get the first game. Wow, that was terrifying though. He even jumped to try and pull the stalking player higher to try and get underneath it. That was crazy. Oh, Thor with the double charge. I think it hit one more time than he, that's what he was expecting to happen last time, but it's okay. Able to take the kill either way, saved himself a meter. X-Factor? Oh. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Maybe for timing. That was crazy. 
Not quite enough to kill here, but has the DHC. That's okay. The Spartan Throne with just with Dr. Doom, and I feel like this team does really well against Doom. Every, every character does well against Doom until Doom touches you. Oh, oh jumps like a theater. Firebrand completely blows the combo up. Wow, and dashes underneath to get an even better confirm off of that one here. Has the super, instead looks for the reset. Oh, and the launcher ending the block string is not safe there. Dr. Doom able to punish easily. Spartan Throne gonna have to spend some meter here though. Spends the level three, even with this little health left, you don't wanna take chances with Thor. And you need to make some forward progress here against this team. Block. Oh, and wakes up with a DP. You have to know he's got a reversal. He has a true reversal to get out of certain situations. Very high priority. Now, potentially the final game here. I like what I'm seeing from Double Ghost. I'm trolling, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lucky Smash, my bad. He gets the air throw. Zen Guppy, we would love to see a Thor go to Evo for sure. Okay. That's the snap he tried to go for last time. And normally I'd be like, oh, well, it looks so weird when he throws him, but you know, he's just magnetizing the armor. It makes sense. Yeah, you don't actually have to touch him. That's canon. Oh, and doesn't even have to go for anything extra here. Fortunately, he's gonna have to X Factor if he wants this, and he does. So much meter spent here just to kill this one character. Oh, and the X-Factor Doppelghost actually gets the throw there. I think Spartan Throne was waiting for that attempt, but didn't have to respond. Oh, drops it, no. He's gonna go for the helper again. We saw how devastating it was last time. Looking for Chip and gets the punish. The swoop doesn't get there. The high low game after the knockdown. Luminous body. Still the block after the wall cling. So important in situations like that. Uh, was looking better in the fireball game, but not better enough. That was gonna be Spartan Throne. Just barely killing. Player one wins. Yeah, these matches are real close here. Anybody could win it. Spartan Throne, if he does win this set though, he'd have to win another. Mm, and it's in good position to be able to potentially go for that. Seen the snap into Arthur almost every time. Oh, this time he goes for an empty tri dash and gets thrown by Thor. Looking confident in his ability to kill it here. No, drops it. Snap? DP is too, yeah. I think it's, yeah, it still beats it, yeah. Brings Magneto back in. He said, I'm not done with you, but maybe a mistake. Drop combo on the mid screen. TAC infinite attempt, though. Oh, 
TAC does not quite work out. Alpha counter blocked as well. He read the dash up too. The positioning, the, the positioning, uh, decision making from Doppelghost has been incredible in this. Uh, he just absolutely lamed out Doom as Thor at every stage of that and finds the jump and confirm. Yeah, and Magneto went down there as an assist as well. Got to be careful with those calls. Here we go, getting that full Arthur combo going. Had the X Factor to finish him off. Worked every bit though, only Dr. Doom left, very little hope. Oh, too far. Get in his body activated here. A little more room to be able to get a little more crazy. Yeah, Spartan Throne just biding this time. Looking for a good time to pop X-Factor, and this might be the situation here. No, but he misses. It's okay, though. Comes back down with the Crouch Light. Yeah, confirming afterwards, and then, oh, that cross-up box jump. Doom Classic. And now just Arthur coming in here. Spartan Throne can definitely play the chip game, but the DP actually wins out, and he's jumping forward with the Super to avoid the missiles. Oh, but the armor pops. And that's going to be it for Doppelghost here in this first set. Yeah, so, so smart from Sparty to go for the slow missiles and the super just to slow things down, knowing the timer was running the whole time. Dude, if, if only Arthur didn't hard knock down himself. Yeah, I mean, it's bad enough that you're not a good character, but you have to fall down and be comboed afterwards. Here we go, Spartan Throne, after winning the first set, has the option to switch characters, and he does. He's gonna go to Wolverine here. He said no more chances. Wolverine's gonna need to add a fourth claw to each hand though, if he wants to do enough damage to Thor on one hit. When we saw them in the first set here, definitely was looking for snap pretty much every time. Zone so much against Wolverine here before he comes and chases you. You can switch on a win because it's a completely new set. Arthur is absolutely cooked. Man, he tagged an Iron Fist? You got that kind of confidence here? I mean, it works. Yeah, and Spartan Throne content to try to leave Doppelghost with only Thor at the end. Snaps in Firebrand, but gets hit. Don't snap in characters if you can't kill him. Especially not this guy. He has been a terror. Looking going to be even more of one. Here we go. Iron Fist finally getting started here. Yep, the kill, stalking flare too, good decision. <laughs> Taking a leisurely stroll, gets the hit. Ah, the pillar was already there to be able to convert it. Barty locking down game one of the reset. In a ratio of distance to number of inputs, that has got to be the worst dash I've seen. <laughs> oh, great alpha counter here from Doppelghost. Had to use the assist to get the hit, but it still works out perfectly for him. Getting rid of Wolverine early is huge. Doesn't want to go for anything fancy. Goes right into the super here. Oh, and leaves Wolverine with Pixel Huff, Spartan Throne, able to hard tag out. Doppel with a little hard tag of his own. 
That's scary from Sparty though. He called Wolverine assist. Had the potential to lose out a lot there. I like the bait to try to get Iron Fist to come to you. Just taunt. Build yourself some meter. What is he gonna do? Oh no, huge hit on both characters, but Spark Throw not able to get the full combo for it. Poison Row missed the full combo here. He's still alive! Bro, Thor has way too much HP. He needs every bit of it, don't you forget. Oh, even after roasting both of them just a bit, Wolverine shakes it off. Killing Firebrand all up to the night. Another scenario where he's just not going to get an opportunity here. Sparty takes two, and it's threatening the tournament for real this time. Pablo goes taking a second. Not to get this hit on Wolverine. Need to kill him as fast as possible. Dormammu has been the biggest issue, though, for sure. But Apagos has a huge hill to climb, and you're not going to climb it wasting X Factor like that. Try to go for a big read there. Didn't work out. Spartan Throne going for an infinite now. This right here might be the set defining factor. This is so, I was going to say, that is so hard to. Definitely one of the harder infinites in the game, I'd say. As it gets the mix up there, Wolverine assist. One of the nice things about it, it does leave you standing. Oh, just misses with the launcher after the stand medium. Building up all the spells here. Oh, dude, and Arthur cooked again. The final bastion of hope is the rat. He's definitely looking like a rat here because Spartan is burning off all his wings. Okay. Going for the helper here. Luminous body as well, getting very aggressive. He's going to be able to get the juggle on Iron Fist. Yo, and Iron Fist does go down thanks to the helper. Snap. Yeah, I had to there. He doesn't want to hold that. Oh, and the unblockable. Doesn't even convert the unblockable. I think that was a fresh hit. Firebrand needs this win here. Doppel Ghost doesn't want to take second again. And this has been the biggest issue, though. A drops in the corner, maybe too close to the wall. Yeah, it doesn't juggle him enough. Puts him back on the ground here. Doppel Ghost still with a chance, though. And that chance is now gone. Spartan Throne going to do it 3 to 0 and lock this one down for week two of the EU tournaments. Man, I can't believe Spartan Throne won again in the exact same way, coming back from loser's side in grand finals.